<laughs> okay, we are live. Hello, everybody. Howdy, howdy. So, hello, cat and grasshopper. And hello, trash cat. TJ. Um, I don't know who else is in here right now. Let's see, we got cat, TJ, trash cat. Grasshopper, grasshopper, yeah. Bob. Hello. Jenny Lynn. Oh, Jenny Lynn, hi. <laughs> Hello, pretty boy. There's your buddy, Pam. <laughs> and June was up way up there. I think that's everybody that said stuff, something right now. Did you see Sam said you need to get a butt of Mario. Mario. A Mario butt? Yeah. Mario is a butt. Yeah, there you go. So you can get any side and you'll have it done. <laughs> okay, so we're kind of waiting for Sarah and Blackie. And they shouldn't be too long. Um, Sarah didn't have to work today because it's a four-day or, yeah, a was her three-day holiday in Australia, so today's Monday over there. Wonder and what her holiday is. I don't know. Right. I just know that she didn't have to work today, so yeah. that's why we're doing the auction on today. You should do it on every Sunday. We should, yeah. Um, let me see. I'm going to show you what I've got, which is not a lot. I've got an oil painting, but I still got to do some finishing touches on it, and it's not dry enough, damn it. So, so I'll show you the cards that I've got, and I'm working on a like a five by seven little drawing of a buffalo because it was kind of requested. So I'm working on that, but it probably won't be done, and I'll probably put it up for auction on Tuesday. But let me show you what I've got here that I'm, I've got for sale. Ah, Big Easy. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. So I will show you what I've got. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, these are the little ACEO cards. I've got that little buffalo. Hello. And that is really a bad photograph of it, but it's an American Keystro. Is that how you pronounce it? You know what I'm talking about. Castro. Castro, yeah. And a bunny. And Jenny Snake. And a Grebe. Least Grebe. And I think that's it. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I got this five by seven drawing too. I almost forgot about that. I can't and believe that you still have him. And that is it. So let me get back here. And that's what we've got for tonight. And I'm kind of waiting for for Sarah. And Dr. Black, oh, he's inhaling a burger. Uh -huh. Okay. For breakfast. Has Sarah got anything to auction? Yeah, she's going to have a bunch of stuff. But you can't show it yet? No, I can't show it yet. I should have made a folder of it, too. Blackie could send me a folder of it. I don't want to option. I could go on Facebook. Did you hear me? I, what? I don't want to auction mine. You're sure? Well, if I get a, a bid for a million dollars, I consider it. But. <laughs> I can actually show some of these like this. Okay. I'm going to show these. This is some of Sarah's stuff, but I'm sure she's going to have some more. Oh, it's Oops. the Queen's birthday, like you said. Oh, okay. Well, she's passed away, so you still have to observe her birthday. And Sarah will be here any second. 
most likely. Oh, it's thundering. Big thunder. Rolling thunder. Okay. Yes, I can do this. Okay, so this is a few pieces that Sarah's going to have, and I'm sure she's going to have more when she gets here. But I know she's going to have these pieces. So there's this one. That one, which is just totally awesome. Love that one. And that guy. I love him. Yeah. For her. And that one there. Okay. In Walker stuff. And that guy. Oh, I didn't know she still had that. I think that's it. No, one more. I think this. I think this is one of them on the wood block. I'm not sure. It looks like wood grain. Yeah, it looks like a wood grain. So I think that's her. Her wood block one, and then that is all the pictures that I've got right now. Today is the last day of my paid um, stream yard, so I have unlimited hours tonight to, until midnight. So three hours. <laughs> I thought it ended last night, but it's still not. It's still like I've got today, and then it ends. So. DJ can't. How do I get the ranch? You bend over and I slap you with it. Pam's the big boss in here. We let her <laughs> think she is anyway. Get down more. No, hello. Hey, Nola. Oh, that's awesome, Nola. You you got some stuff coming in the mail right now, too, from me. So be on the lookout the first part of this week. I have sent some people their tracking numbers, but I haven't sent all of them yet. I'll probably finish them up in the morning. So, um, yeah. Hey, Bruiser. The people that have bigger pieces and i know nola's got a bigger package coming hello mojo i should have a steamer trunk coming you got a big package coming there's that it's not huge in in like dimensions but it's thick because there's a lot of work in there <laughs> awesome uh-oh i see sarah uh-oh hello hi it's sarah so what's the holiday today? Um, well, apparently it's now called the King's birthday, but it used to be the Queen's birthday. It used to be the Queen's birthday, now it's King's birthday. Okay. <laughs> Was he born on the same day as his mother? Apparently. You know, no. I mean, it's. I don't even think it was necessarily her birth date, the date that we celebrated. But it's designated. I actually don't have a clue. But what would you get? What would what do you get the queen for a birthday present? Um, a slip. Yeah. A special drawing. <laughs> I you, could give her, you could give her a snake. Right. Oh. I'm gonna have to be, I showed everybody the pictures that you know that you sent me, but I know you'll have some more. But I think I'm also going to show them real quick the pictures of the snakes, the snake pictures, because there's some pretty cool pictures there. And I know you showed them last night on your phone, but but it'll show up better this way, I think. It's not the same. Yeah. So I'm going to share them real quick. Real quick. What the heck? Where, where, what, 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 what happened here? It went back to my art and I didn't want it on my art. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's try this again. Right, Sam. No, that's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do right there. Okay, now got that and we can go here. I really kind of semi know what I'm doing sometimes. I think kind of. I don't always do it perfectly. <laughs> I think kind of. Is more descriptive than sort of. Semi. But this is the snake that was at Sarah's house. 
Isn't that just an awesome picture? You should draw that. Yeah, I should draw that. Carpet python, she said. Yeah, but Sarah might get mad at me if I drew her snake. Uh -huh. Of course I would not. Um, I can send you through, because I probably took about 10 with it when it was there, sort of just yeah. very, very slightly different. If you want, I'll just send you them all. We can sort of like... Yeah, send them all to me. And then we got this one of it. It's Thank about a six and a half foot carpet python that was at her house. And I think that's the last one. Yeah. Sam says he's tapped out. That's good to know. What's that? Sam says he's tapped out. Uh, so that's good to know. Little bitters. If you see something you like, Sam, I won't get it for you. <laughs> hey, Vic. Man, so, it's raining, raining. It's, um, we got black sky right now, and the weather thing on my computer says rain coming, so and rain tomorrow so it's going to be another wet day tomorrow we've had wet day and and my neighbor ended up mowing my lawn for me which was just super nice of him but i'm going to have to figure out a way to tell him thank you i think i might have to do him a little drawing or something because he's done it several times and my lawn was like i don't have a, a power mower but i have one of those old manual push mowers but the grass, because it's been raining every day, it, the grass was wet and really thick and getting really long, like a foot long. So, and I just, I just heard a mower running and looked outside, and and my neighbor guy was out there mowing my lawn for me. So that was really nice of him. Just, uh, you could pay him with nature's credit card, right? Pay him with what? Nature's credit card. Nature's credit card. Yeah. What is nature's credit card? It was the line from the Golden Girls. Oh, Blanche, Blanche always <laughs> carries nature's credit oh, card. Oh no, we don't. We don't do that here. Because I thought his wife wouldn't like that very well. Dorothy told her she never leaves home without it. <laughs> uh, um. So right up until the moment that I come in here, I was doing some painting and I'm not sure I might try and bring, just go and grab my paint and bring it in and see if I can continue. Yes, let's, not. let's, let's see it. Right. Okay. I'll see. I'm pretty crowded here because that's how I roll. Don't blow her up, whatever you do, Pam. I'll blow her up when she comes back with artwork. Don't worry, Bob. I should get direct. I should show you guys Bob's tree again, too, because it's really awesome. Pam, don't tempt people. Just, what's up? What? Show I'm not going to tempt I'm just going to show them your tree because I think it's totally cool. No, nice Except that kind of I don't know where I put it, and, I, and the pictures that I have of it are sideways. No, hmm. nice to make fun of old people. Okay, I'm going to show you guys Bob's tree that he did, which is really excellent, but it is sideways, so you have to turn your head sideways to look well, at it. I can show it not sideways if you want me to. Yeah, do that. I've got it right here on my pad. Okay. Blow me up. Oh, shit. Can you see it? Yeah, it's upside down. Let me switch my screen. <laughs> the challenges of using an iPhone. Okay. There it is, but sideways. Oh, shit. There it is. Perfect. Yeah. And that isn't that just awesome, guys? I mean, that is really good. It's very good. Oh, 
All right. Well, thank you for your kindness. Okay, I think I've got all the bits. I just have to find enough space to put them in front of me. But okay, um, let, me, let me know when you're ready, so I'm gonna because I'm gonna blow you up. Bye. She won't. Um, <laughs> I'm never ready. Um, hang on, it's okay. I will bring this little stack over here. All right, I can try and just show this. I feel like it might not be very exciting. So I was showing some yesterday of these ones I did before, but then now they are coated in resin and protected and everything. And they're very good, very good. Those are on the blocks of wood, right? Yeah. So, um... It feels really good to have them all shiny and, yeah, protected. <laughs> but so just this morning, I've been doing a lot of sanding. But then I did a couple of new ones. Oh, very awesome. I love the one in your left hand. Yeah, that's my left hand, isn't it? Yep. Nice. <laughs> I'm not very good at right and left. And like, sorry, I worked out which one makes the L while I had them up in the air. But then when I moved it, it's on the opposite side. So then I confused oh. it. <laughs> I thought, oh, I got it wrong again. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was just doing those. And I was like trying to hurry to be finished by the time the stream was starting. Um, and I have a few more pieces of wood that I can um, paint on if I get there. And I did chop up another drawing into um, pieces for me to um, work on tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to do a few more. I'm going to do some little things while I'm sitting here. My plan, um, but these are ones from yesterday. Awesome, I'm covering him over because actually, I think he could do a little bit more work. But we'll see. I showed everybody the ones that you sent me this morning. Hmm. So um, I have got all these bright, colourful ones, which I am really enjoying doing at the moment, and they also feel like a really nice counter point to the wood blocks are a lot they're like slow and time consuming, but so the energy, even though there's a similarity, they're a lot slower, whereas then what I'm doing and I'm doing this colorful one I'm getting out a lot of that like um because I get lots of impulse that I like to work with and so I'm really enjoying that they're sort of doing that so I try and hold up a couple of bright wow those would make a great set or collage yeah they would very awesome. I just so like they've got the black and then they're all really bright colors. And nice. Or the two on the ends would make a great set. And this one? Mm -hmm. Or these two? Yeah, the devils with the horns. I'm thinking devils, but yeah. That's cool. So yeah. Um and then I do have well, I don't know about this guy because 
He just he has too much going on, maybe. But I like it. Pretty awesome. Can you I feel turn like it, you have... turn it oh. upside down? Wow. Yeah, it looks like a buffalo with a possum hanging on the side. Hi, GRB. For sure. <laughs> That's cool. That's a little guy. I mean, I like him. But he's a lot plainer than the others. I really like the color on that one. Oh, me too. Did you have to mix that color? No, it's a, it's a pen. Oh, okay. Wow. But yeah, it just, um, it comes up so nicely on the black. Mm -hmm. And then I've got other guys here. I've got and I've got this guy who's back from he did sell but then did a book sell through. Oh that's why I was forgot you had him, yeah. He's like one of my favorites. I mean to be fair, I end up with a lot of favorites. But he's one of them. And then uh oh, good work, your brain. I really like that last one you showed. This one? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm really liking these ones, and actually, that reminds me of yours. There's another one that has those lines, and it because I was really liking them. Um, it's okay. I can find them, I'm sure. I do have other ones as well, by the way. Oh, I found my missing piece of the other one. Nice. Oh, yeah. I've never seen you do anything quite like that. No, it's, it was the one of the kind. Huh. I did the watercolor first and then I was drawing over the top of it. And, um, yeah, I like it, but it's just sort of does stand alone amongst all the others. It's not something I've done the same. Yeah, it stands out. And you've never, never done anything like that. Cool. Um, but this is the one I was looking for. But I don't know if you can understand that some of the lines that were happening on the front and they're the same like, yeah. line. I thought that one was already gone too. Uh, he's, yeah. I'm like, I've got a few other bits and pieces. Uh, I have this one that also someone said that they were buying and didn't buy. Yeah. And then, I don't know, now I'm just delving into the depths of piles of things that are... Who knows? Who knows? You've got a lot of stuff stopped back yeah well because i just haven't been getting out there yeah um so i just keep building it up really and i'm i keep planning to do something and then just the months fly by with work i just have so little free time and I keep thinking to myself this same little story in my head of like, oh, if I could just get a long enough break from having to go to work, um, then 
I could start getting some stuff happening with my art and then I can get that going and then I will never have to go back to work. Uh, right. <laughs> but the problem is in the first place, I just have to pay my rent every week and that's um, all the days that I go to work just, just cover the rent for my house. Yeah. That's it. So if I don't go, I don't. I don't have any <laughs> Hey, GRB, just in from grocery shopping. I know that's traumatic. It is traumatic, though, isn't it? Like, not jokingly. I really don't like it. I spent almost $300 for weekly stuff. Now, that includes my animals. And three days later, I went back to grab a couple of things I forgot, and it was $75. I'm like, I can't, you know, live off of a disability like this. So it's got to give. No, it's crazy. And it's just, like, gone up, like, seemingly exponentially from where we were not very long ago. It's massive. Yep. Yeah, that's probably me. Oh, wait, can I flash this guy up? I just down um, because he's sitting there and I want to show him because he's oh, also that's so cool. Oh, I haven't seen him, I don't think. He's one that I did, and um, I can't remember, but I think like Mikey didn't really like him, so I ended up keeping on putting him to the side. And he is a little bit different, it looks like he's got a spot on him. Oh. He's got but, precious little, a uh, precious little leg. He's just got one arm and one leg. That's right. But his one little leg, he's got. I like little feet. That's why I like chihuahuas and cats. I love little feet. Mice. <laughs> well, that's on the. Um, and like, admittedly, it is a dead. But when Mikey gave me the dead rat, and just looking at its tiny little claws and little tiny little bones in its feet and some yeah. of like the vertebra that is so tiny it's beautiful to look at how like it's amazing that nature can just make such things that are so tiny and so perfect mm -hmm. that guy was half harmless that's true grb little football oh god i've got a tag Are you still here, Pam? Yeah. Okay. Don't tell anybody I'm working on a drawing. They hmm. won't believe it. I know, huh? <laughs> well, do you want to like? How should we do this auction? Should we hope? Should we wait for Blackie, or should we try like holding up two at a time and see if we get any bids on either one of them? Because I know if we hold up too many at once, then we, we get lost on who wants what. Hmm. I definitely get lost. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I'm happy to go with whatever the consensus is. I'm also happy to wait for my people. Or maybe if you are happy to start holding up some pieces, and then I can hold mine up when you come. Let's see if there's any update from Dr. Black. He said he was scarfing a hamburger and then he had to fix the, the uh, I think he said the old man, uh, some toast. That's his dad, I believe. Hopefully he's um, pretty close. I've got four dogs that are stressed out because all of their little beds, all of their little blankies, all of their little pallets, all the stuff they bury under is in the washer right now. It's a load of dog stuff. So they have nothing. Oh God, the frogs are singing like crazy outside from the rain. What'd I have a dog 
because she believes there is a mouse in the freezer. A mouse in the freezer? I have like a big chest freezer and sort of in the bottom in the back of it, there's like a, a I guess where it's like a vent in the back of it. And she just sits there and obsesses that there's a mouse inside it. And I don't know if there is or not. <laughs> But she won't leave it alone. And so now we've, like, locked her out of the kitchen so she can't go and sit there. And so she's not really very happy. She's just going up to everybody and kind of cuffing and sooking that she can't go and watch for the mouse at the freezer. Maybe it's that big old snake. I don't think so because it's been... She's thought there's a mouse there for, like, weeks. Well, I know what we can do while we're waiting because I had decided that I was going to give away the grebe. Yeah. Just this one here. Or let me see if I can pull it up here. <laughs> the least grebe is going to be a giveaway. You're right, Wawa. What's that? You said Floyd is quiet, a little too quiet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He's right. Floyd, where are you? I'm sure he's in there looking at it in the bathroom at himself. Okay, so we're going to give a giveaway on this one. We haven't done a giveaway for a while. What you do is when I say start, you put in a number between 1 and 75. And then I've got a random number generator and who and I click on it and whatever number comes up, whoever comes closest to that number without going over is the winner. And we're going to do this little grieve drawing. He had the rules in there before you started talking, Pam. Did he really? Yeah. I, I am I not surprised. Scrolled all the way up there. Hi, Chew. So is everybody ready for a giveaway? Yeah. TJ, are you ready for the giveaway? Because you were asking about it. So you better not be be sloughing off because I'm giving a card away right now. Oh, I'm going to type in start, put in a number between 1 and 75. And if there's a tie, then we do a tiebreaker between the people who have tied. So we're doing this little card right here. And I'm going to type start in right now. I guess a second. Hang on just one second. I got to do something really quick here. Uh, yeah, she's got a top start. Just top it over when she says start. Okay, yep, hang on just one second. One way I'll disqualify you. No, oh, yes. Oh, oh, dang it. Hang on just a second. This is not cooperating with me right now. Hang on. Just forget it. Pulling up the, the random number generator and stuff. Just forget it. Okay. Now I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to type start. Oh, but I gotta be in this window. Okay. So remember, number one to seventy-five, closest without going over wins. Start. And I type start. So, Bob, did you want to put in a number? I did. Uh, number nineteen. Number nineteen. Thank you. Sarah, did you want to put in a number? Um, I kind of do, but I won't. I'm going to leave it for everyone today. It's not that I don't want to try. It's just that no. I think Throw in a number, Sarah. I already got you got you typed in. Throw in a number between one and seventy-five. Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Okay. 
and the other serotype 37 when you said that. Uh. Eerie. TJ68. I'm glad you're going early, Pam. There's probably not as many people in here, better odds. Yeah, this is true. I didn't even realize I was up. Did you want to put in a number, Blackie, for the drawing? Sure. 64. Okay. Huawei loves you, Blackie. Love you too, Huawei. <clears throat> and hello, everyone else in the chat. <clears throat> we need some more numbers. There's not not everybody's put in one yet. I don't think. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine numbers. Sarah, would you check and see if you got an email just now from? The other Sarah. I can do that. Oh, yeah, well, I remember one drop one giveaway that I did. You said number one, and it and it and it actually drew a number one. So you never know. <laughs> okay, has everybody got a number in that wants to try? Did you get a number in GRB? He did. Okay. For 33. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and type stop. Anybody that wants to try, this is your last chance. Can Floyd have a number? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we go to the random number generator. And hang on, I, I, can, I can do this. Come on, computer, cooperate. Okay. Random number generator, okay. And we're gonna do a drum roll and hit generate number 52 so who came closest to 52 without going over i think i won did you really i don't know i think uh skeddy nona might be yeah the 37 yeah <clears throat> looks like Yep. No one in the 40s and 52 only. Okay. There you it's go. On up. It is. So I will write that down, and you need to send me an email with your mailing address. Congrats, Nona. <clears throat> and you won the least grieve. All righty. That was kind of fun. We haven't done one of those for a while. Yeah, I know. And, uh, so, um, just, I don't know when, so just going by what everybody else thinks. But I also was going to have um, something to give away. The thing is, what I've got that I've been sitting on is I have two left of these spells that I was doing and selling and I'd kept them so I thought that they would be good things to um do for giveaway. But then while I was sitting here, I also thought maybe I also could but like maybe I can like swap one out so it's not just two spells and be like one skull and one a good jury. So you're gonna do maybe. one skull and one drawing for a give for each giveaway? I think so. And then I'll keep the other skull and do it another time. Okay. Nice. But, anyway. but um, yeah, as as for when that happens, you know, I'll leave that to everyone else to choose. 
So whenever you you guys are ready, we don't have a lot of people in here yet. That's kind of upsetting. That's a good time to do a giveaway. I'm ready. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> oh, we want to teach them to show up on time. I'm saying that tongue in cheek. You know, I slept through the first thirty minutes of my stream tonight, Blackie. Of your own stream. Uh huh. Ed called me and woke me up and said, "We're all worried about you." I thought I was streaming, and I said, "I'm okay. What's wrong?" I was dead out asleep. I'd been asleep over an hour. Um, can I um ask something um for Sarah um because she sent the email and I did I'm really sorry because I kind of meant to have done this already. Um, but what I need to know is um, if she wants the track postage or the regular post with no track. If she can tell me, then I will try and send the thing through. And, yeah, it's price is right rules, Nona. Closest without going over, so you won that one fair and square. Yeah. Some people do it closest. They don't say not going over, but Pam, like you said, this price is right. She's old school. Yep, yep. <clears throat> yep, so send me your mail-in address so I can probably get it in the mail in the next couple of days. Um, you're making me nervous. Sit down. Jesus. Thank you. Yeah, tracking's the only difference for the prices, not it. So I can send things regular posts and it's quite cheap, but there's no tracking. Now everyone's been getting their stuff and nothing's been going missing, but if it does, I can't find it or do anything about it if it does go missing. With, for the tracking, it's tracked. We know where it is, and if something happens to it, then the postal service is accountable, <laughs> and they, you know, give the money back and stuff like that. If it went missing. Okay, so we've only got eight people watching right now, which is just like, oh wow, really unusual. So I'm not going to try to auction quite yet until we get a few more people in here because that's kind of sad. She says, if she buys more stuff tonight, I'll get tracking otherwise $5. Okay, nice. So what do you guys think? Should we go ahead and just see how a little auction goes? Do you want to try one or two, Sarah? Or do you want to wait? Because eight people is pretty unusually low, especially for a Sunday night. That's kind of odd. Um, I don't want to make this. I'll go. I'll go with anything, really. But I'm, if I'm really honest, just I don't like making decisions ever. You don't like making decisions ever. <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> like, I'm fine. I'm not going to cause like lots of fuss if things don't go the way I want them to. Or because I don't know how I want them to go. I'm fine. I'm just like, I'd rather go with it than. I, I can like deliberate really long and stressfully hard about the tiniest most insignificant stupid things i just can't choose and unfortunately i've given this disease to one of my children as well 
<laughs> so we're not a good pair. We <laughs> face with a decision. I did, <laughs> I did that. I do that, and it's just an anxiety thing. Like when I'm going, like tomorrow, I have an appointment and a personal doctor's appointment. Plus, I have to be at the park. I'm not at the appointment. And I'll stretch, and I put on my shorts and flip flops socks in the morning like well should I do this to the doctor or maybe no they don't care they don't you know stress over you're kind of breaking up a little bit is worm laying on your microphone no I might have <laughs> been touching it though but anyway I, I get it you know and I just have to say stop it you know nobody cares what you're wearing put on anything <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying really hard to just like jump off this good stuff. Even like I do it, I try and like, um, like just a simple reply to somebody and I like write it and then I'm like, no, I should say it like this, no, it's not like that. And then I like try and reword it and then I pull it back and then I like, and so I'm trying really hard with those ones, just like type whatever comes and then just send it. And maybe it wasn't perfect, it doesn't matter. At least you sent it and you didn't sit on it for two months because of is something I do do. Sam, I have, I have great audio, but when I put my hand over the phone microphone, I don't. And I had let it slide down onto my palm, so. Huawei wants to know if you're on the Fish Fam page, Sarah. I don't Am I? Yeah. Fish Fam page? Um, oh, unless he's talking to Nana. No, I personally and yeah if it's um not me then i also don't i've um, had some memory of us being on the page both of us but i don't know if that's true yep nona send your sketty nona send your mailing address to me at the copy and paste the email there that why we put up um griffin vibes are streaming at the moment and they seem to have a small crowd too so ah oh. might be griffin. just one of those nights griffin must might, be yeah doing... might just be one of those nights last night was pretty bad too like worse worse than i normally do so yeah Griffin must be doing an extra stream because his time was up so he and vibes yeah. must be out together we got 14 now, she said. Yeah, I'll show my cards real quick. And then Sarah can show her stuff real quick if anybody wants to put a bid in. Otherwise, I'm going to work on the drawing that I'm working on. And um, I always figure, you know, if we don't get enough people and nobody, nothing but sells tonight, then we'll do it again Tuesday night. Is how I always look at it. It's like, okay, we'll do it again. But I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put my drawings up. Hang on here. Okay. And I'll do like that. And then I'll do this. And, oops, that's the wrong one. This one. Share screen. <coughs> Huawei says you are on the fish fam, Scungy. Do you still have Etsy up, Sarah? Um, I have nothing in the shop at the moment. Oh, it's got Etsy on there. Okay, so this one, the ACEO cards opening bids are 20 bucks. And we've got the Buffalo. That reminds me of Hellboy. I haven't seen this one. And the bunny and the snake. That's beautiful. And that one's the one I just gave away. And this one is a five by seven, and the opening bid on that one is fifty dollars. And that's it. If anybody wants to bid on one of them, and then we'll go over to Sarah and we'll come back to it later if we get more people in here and different peoples. Let me stop sharing there. Um, okay. There we go. Okay. I'm not sure about 
Um, okay, Jenny Lynn, what a surprise. Jenny Lynn bid $20 on the snake. <laughs> Damn it. I knew she'd be after that snake. It's, it's, it's but any of you that don't know it, it happens to be Jenny Lynn's snake. <laughs> ah. Nola says 20 on the bunny. On the bunny, okay. Yeah, I saw that pic the other day, Jenny, of you in your scungy shirt holding your snake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got $20 on the snake and $20 on the bunny. And the other one, what else, else is there? There's a American Kistro, Kistro or Kistro, however you pronounce it. Kistro. Kistro. And the Buffalo. Which one did you it. say you're reserving at 50 bucks? Um, oh, the, the Bighorn Sheep, because it's a five by seven. It's not a card, it's a five by seven. Gotcha. Does anybody else think that buffalo looks like Hellboy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it does. You know who I'm talking about? The big no. red dude. Yeah. I'm not even a fan of Hellboy, but it sure looks like it. I'm so I'm, I'm going to go through up. this really quick so that we can, because there's not a lot of people in here and... I'm going to say if nobody else bids, makes a bid on either one of those two, I'm going to call them both sold. One yeah. to Jenny Lynn. Jenny Lynn for the snake. And Nola for the bunny. It's nice, Jenny. And I'm going to call them both sold. And... Nice. Yway is throwing up the information, and we'll come back to the ones that are left later, and Tuesday night, if not before. And, yep, Yway's throwing up the PayPal, and, um, all right, and I got, I got uh, Sketty Nona's address for to mail her the one that she won. The least greed. And I've already got Nola's address, and I think I might have Jenny Lynn's already, too. It seems like I sent her something Saturday. Let me see. Yep, I got her address, too. Yep, okay. So, I don't need no addresses from you two, and he threw up the PayPal, which you probably also know, and we're going to switch over to Sarah now. And if Blackie has the photographs, if he has photographs he wants to show instead of her holding stuff up, or if Sarah wants to hold stuff up, that's up to you guys. But I would do like, just do like a couple, like, like maybe three or four at a time, because if you do them all at once and then, then nobody can remember, you know, you got to go back and try to figure out which one they're talking about. Yeah. It's really hard, isn't it? I kind of, um, it's also just hard to work out what to pop up. I can do. Hey, Craig. Hello, I've Bruiser. Got... Craig, us. Trash cat. Bruiser, Sorry, hello. Trash cat. And then I've got more of the like. Hey, Craig. Uh, what kind of. Okay, Keith. TJ said the bunny, the bunny I already called sold on. I'm sorry, but I'll, I can write you down for the buffalo and the, and the hawk. TJ. Who got the bunny? Um, Nola got the bunny. Oh yeah. So you're just a little bit late on it. Cause I already called it sold. I'm sorry. But the buffalo and the hawk, we can throw in for you. For 20 bucks a piece. We can sit on that for a little bit. Okay. So we'll call those sold because now we're switching over to Sarah's work. Yeah. 
I think that's all I've got, except I've still got the bighorn ram, but yep. So PJ got the buffalo and the American keystro and Nola got the bunny and Jenny Lynn got the snake. And the uh, least grebe Sketty Nona one. So all I've got left is a young bighorn ram. Okay, Sarah. Well, I don't know which ones to show. I was going to sort of see about taking some kind of books. I've got like the ones on black and I've got ones on on white. I thought that might be a good way to split them up. I also thought I might put it out there, but I sort of, I don't think it might be a thing. But because I do have these um, guys and they ship for the same as the paper. But the issue is that they will, I will be having, like, reserve on these where I don't on the other pieces. But if anybody's interested in the book box, you can just, like, let me know. But otherwise, I won't sort of put them up because they are a bit more expensive. Um, but what do you reckon I should hold up? Black ones or white ones? You go with some of your black ones. Thank you, Mikey. I need you for like all that decision this That's why I did it. Yeah, I appreciate you. Well. Oh. I, I need like a special um hand that can hold all the cards in one. All right. Don't have one of those mini easels? They've got a mini easel, but what am I going to do with that? So just hold it just... up. <clears throat> if it doesn't stand on your desk. Yeah, but it's just a mini easel. So if it stands on my desk, only I can see it, but not you guys. I have two more black ones. Thank you. Jenny, yeah, I think I just got it. I love that guy. I'll go 25 on that guy in your left hand. The That's horn fine. guy? Mm hmm Okay, I'm going to write that down. 25 from Bob. I am just not doing well at all tonight on this computer. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I'm going to call her Pam, Pam without her ears. <coughs> Gold. Those two go nice together, actually. They do. Nona says 20 on the other horns. The other one that's like this one, yeah? Oh, I thought those would make a good set. But maybe not. Yeah, I think that's the one that she means. And, and the, the and the creature twenty, which one is the creature? <laughs> They're all we creatures. Might, might need Great. somewhat more specific. <laughs> like that one? Is that the right one? Maybe this one though. Middle, so middle one. Okay, yep. So there we got a bid on all three of those ones. If anybody wants to bid more on them. Well, I'm glad those two are going to stay together, possibly. So she would 
Well, very nicely together. You corrected your own maths there, Nana. That's good work. You said you were bad at maths. I am quite liking these colours. Mm. They do good. Nana do, Nana, do you want the other horned one so you have all three? Or Sarah, rather. Nana's bid 30 on the other horns. Yeah, you could outbid me. Uh, hang on, this one. She's bid 30 on the far, your far left side, but to outbid Bob. So she's bid that one up to 30. And 20 on the other two. Well, I'm out. What, you aren't going to buy Pam with the powder horns? It was Pam without her horns is what I Oh, said. without her horns. Oh, well, I thought you said with powder horns. No, without. When you take those damn, damn Mickey Mouse ears off, that's what pops up. <laughs> yeah, that's an awesome set. I'm happy. I'm real happy they're staying together. I like that. Yeah, they kind of belong, don't they? Yeah. But I think I've got right. These ones Nola's getting, and this one for Sarah, right? Nice, no, Nona on all of them. Oh, Nona, Nona bid thirty on the one I bid twenty-five, so I said I'm out. Yeah, so so she's got the highest bid on all three of them right now. That is a good set. Yeah. Which is basically what are we looking at? 70, 70 for the set of three. If anyone wants to bid higher for the whole set, so I could come back and bid 80 and still get them. Correct, they would look splendid all framed up together, I reckon. Yeah, I don't hardly have any of Sarah's stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah, Sarah and Nola are the same person. No, Sarah and Nona. Yeah, you're right. Always trying to confuse me. You do a good enough job yourself, mate. Exactly. I was going right along with him. No, I'm out. Like I said, I'm happy with those staying together. The wood plaque. No. No, I'm done. Well, if no one else wants to chuck any bids higher on that guy, could probably let them go. Call them sold for 70. That's a hell of a deal. Heck yes. Yeah. Eighteen in the chat now. Or watching, I should say. Um, I'm going to put um, these aside for the other ones. He's got three here already for me to post to her. I might have missed this because I apparently I fall asleep sometimes in streams and have been known to have strokes. But did Sarah get to give her giveaway yet? No, she has not done the giveaway yet. But I'm, 
I'm sure she'll let us know when she's ready to. I'm ready whenever a is ready. We can do it now. <clears throat> oh, congrats also, Nonna, by the way. Well done. Awesome set to win. Yes, and Goodbye. I am very pleased to see them go right together because they go really nicely together. <clears throat> So you want to do a giveaway? Yeah. But which one? Mikey, cheese. Skull. Everyone loves a skull. Yeah. I have a feeling. So we're, and we're giving those two away together, right? Or separately? Separate, separate giveaway. Separately? Okay. So we're going to do the giveaway on the skull, and I am... Assuming you want to do the same rules that I do? I think that's, yeah, good. that's a good system. Okay, so we're going to do the same rules that I did, which is you pick a number. I'm going to type start, and you pick a number between 1 and 75. And whoever comes closest without going over is the winner. And I've still got my random number generator up, so we're ready to go. And I'm going to type start right now. Remember, pick a number between 1 and 75, one, only one guess per person. I pick 57. Okay. Please. Hey, Craig. Hey, Austin. And I'm going to put in a number because I can. Yeah. Oh, my. Did I not? I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick. Six. No, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick 44. Just because I don't know why. She's 41, and her daddy still called her baby. Cleaning and cleaning. I wish I could get you just to drop by for four or five hours, Craig. Jesus. Hmm. Cleaning and cleaning. We're always said nine. So we're giving away a skull tonight. Everybody pick a number. Number one. You know that every number has the same chance. Yeah. They say. There's 13 numbers I think have been entered. Make that 14. So there's still some people in the chat or in the watching could enter I a number. Pick a number between one and 75 to win a skull. <clears throat> G'day Debs, Divine. Divine's here as well. Get a number in, Divine. Huawei's playing for Trash Cat. Hey, Divine. Who's Divine, hello. Throw out a number, Divine. It's for a giveaway. You pick a number between 1 and 75 to win a skull drawing. And pick a number between 1 and 75. And whoever comes closest without going over is the winner. And I've got a random number generator that I click on. So it's totally, everybody's got the same amount of chance. GRB says some numbers have a greater chance of going over. I wish I knew what they were. Hey, Deb. Okay, does everybody have a number in? Because I'm going to call it before the numbers disappear into Never Never Land. Okay, I'm going to type. Okay, Lucky Stone just threw out a number. 28. 
Uh, uh, the oh, well, if if they tie, then we'll do a tiebreaker. It's no big deal. Okay, so <laughs> no, it's okay. If you guys, if twenty eight gets drawn, then then we do a tiebreaker. Tie We've done breaker. all of those before. My number is going to win anyway. So. Okay, I'm going to type stop. TJ has changed his number to 38. 38? Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Countdown. I'm going to type stop and stop. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the random number generator. Random number generator up on the screen. And good luck, everybody. And drum roll. And I'm going to click on generate a number. Number 73. Whoa. Who's got the high numbers here? I don't think anybody. I know. So it's going to be whoever has the highest number. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I have a strange feeling. It's Nonna again. Yeah, it is. Is it really? All right. Yeah. 66. So, yeah. Wow. So, you, is tonight is your tonight. lucky night. Okay. <laughs> it's so awesome. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Chu missed out by one with 65. Wait. Wait, well, that, that'll make it e that'll make it easy for your shipping too. Yeah. All in together. I'm going to make yeah. myself a, um, a cuppa, but also I will do this one at some point this evening yeah, as well. In a little bit. It just trace them out. You want to show us your art real quick, Blackie? Oh, I didn't bring any out with me. You what? Damn it. There he goes. I think this is a good example of the art gods rewarding Sarah. That's Sarah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. No. Y'all already ate supper. Shut the hell up. Milo forgets they've already eaten and gets excited. Okay, so Blackie's going to show us his work. I don't know if it's sales-worthy, though. I'm fairly certain it's not. What do you call that one? Pardon me. Yeah, I just call it pardon me. Call it pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, who, who just said it? GRB said, nice working on a lottery ticket time. Mm -hmm. You know what that one looks like that he just showed? Um, it looks like Bob Barker spinning the Wheel of Fortune. See his profile? His no. Up there. Oh, well, it does to me. And this profile yep. here. Yeah, Bob Barker spin, spin on the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. You say so. <laughs> yeah. Creative. She is divine. <laughs> Possibly don't do that over the microphone, Michael. You should have names for them. You Number need to 10. name them. I'm like Sarah. Can't do that part of it. Actually, I don't think that one's finished or I don't like it, so I might not do anything with it anymore. This one's mm. Mm. Por portrait of my dog. I'll go 25 on that one. 
No, I'm framing this one and keeping it myself. Sorry. <laughs> or, Damn it. Give, give it to my son. Because right. he, he was best mates. I don't blame you. I keep that too. And it looks exactly like he did. Mm hmm. That one I'm not terribly fond of either. Let's go. I like it. it is quite that, nice. that one I really like. That one to me looks like a scorpion cre creation monster thingy. Well, is that one for sale? Um, sure. But this one, because it's A5 size, um, shipping on it would not, I wouldn't be able to do cheap shipping without folding it in half or something terrible like that. What's the reserve on it? I don't have a reserve. As long as I get enough money to pay for the ink that went butterfly into Butterfly scorpion. That's a that's good GRB. I like that. It's a butterfly okay. scorpion. So no, the shipping is going to be 20 anyway. Yeah. When I, when I was originally drawing this one and I put that proboscis -y thing coming out of its mouth and then I thought, oh, I could probably have a crack at, um, um, what do you call them? Wings. And then I thought, no, nah, I can't do wings for crap. Well, if Bob if Bob bought that one, he could wait and see if he buys one from Sarah, so they could just get shipped together. For sure. Yeah, they can come together as long as it's all right with them. It's all right with me. But otherwise, the shipping on that one's twenty, right? Yeah. So I'll be at twenty five on that plus the shipping. If that's all right. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. All right. Since I, ha I had my um my first art sale reneged, it'd be nice to have my first art sale go to you for sure. That's right. And then maybe you could paint wings on it. Ooh. Butterfly scorpion. I like the name too. Yeah, I'm drinking. I like that. New local house to most to know what I'm doing. I, I like that drawing a lot, Blackie. I think you ought to ought to do more more things like critters like that because that looks just totally awesome. Well, they never they never really start out with an intended uh, outcome. So they just go where they go. Sometimes I get critters. Sometimes I don't. Cranberry pomegranate, 100% juice, Walmart brand. Um. No, just use Scungy's PayPal Huawei, please, if that's okay with her, because I don't, um, I haven't reset up my PayPal with my new credit card, and I don't think I could be bothered, even though there's money sitting there from T-shirt sales. Maybe I should attach Sarah's PayPal to my T-shirt shops as well. Um, actually, most of the shirts that I have sold in my shop are your designs anyway. So that makes perfect sense that you get the profits from your T-shirt sales just because they're in my shop doesn't mean nothing. See, I'm happy to call that one sold to Bob. 25. Nice. Well done, Bob. For sure. Come on, everybody's wondering where you're at. Come on. What are you two doing? Come on. Yeah, for me, Huawei, Kisara is PayPal, please. As long as she's not offended by me saying that. Is that all right with you, love? Yeah, that's fine. I was just enjoying um, Floyd's. I like the little, like, um, rolly ones. They're cute. He made the same noise you made, Sarah. I had him muted, though. You said you liked the little whirly one and made that noise. He made a noise very similar to that. Well, so Mikey sent me a little video today of him mimicking I didn't notice at the time, <laughs> but it's very cute. Um. 
Well, I think Bob Bob said that Floyd said lovely, but I thought he was just mimicking your voice. Maybe he is. I have to take my shoulders for parentship. I say lovely quite often, and I say lovely to my dog when there's something I can say lovely. And now that it's like a thing, it's like this a really good here. Now that it's like I've become conscious of it, so I almost can't say it anymore. But I yeah, think that yeah. it's lovely when I when it's there is because it's lovely something that I've said. I like that second piece too, Huawei. Was that this one? Mm -hmm. Number two. I'm trying to remind me to hold on to that till next month and then you guys can arm wrestle for it. Well, it's trying not to like sell it between now and then is <clears throat> the issue. But they will be there at any instances like that, right? Talking away to you, Sarah. <laughs> That's you such like a Sarah. Sign of voice. You like Sarah. Huh? There she is. I wonder mean, why you kept staying back there. You fell asleep, didn't you? That's my favorite one. Oh, did you hear that? It's very sweet. Somebody comes on the stream right now. They'd be like they're talking to a freaking bird on there. <laughs> I could have a bird, except I see the one. Aggressive as I do, I don't want that. But like, he's pretty um, cute. See me winning the arm wrestling? I don't always win, Divine. That's for sure. But that was that was the right one, wasn't it? Well, that you're talking about. So I think that was the second one I tried. It was number two. I forgot about it for a moment. I wanted to make sure I got that other one. Yeah. yeah. Can't win them all. Yeah, that was one of the ones where I was sitting there looking at it thinking I could probably do more on it. And then I just thought it was better off just to stop where I was. Oh, Mike, hmm. can I show you what was the fun from this morning? You're breaking up, love. I can barely hear you. Can you say again, please? Um, I was going to say, can I show you the wood box that I did this morning? Because you didn't get yes. to see it. Please. I haven't. I haven't like um, sealed them off with the resin yet, but um, nice. Now, what did you say about those earlier, Sarah? She said she varnished. You hmm. said something when you showed them about they wouldn't be the river shipping or the, the something or something. I remember I said I like the one in your left hand that was in there again in your left hand. Okay, yeah. So any of these ones, I mean, they, their ship, the shipping for these is the same as the shipping for, so, you know, if I wanted to post, Let's just go, like, as an example. If I want to post this, post this, the tipping is the same. Even though that's a lot heavier. Because of the size of the other one. Well, it's just that a small package up to a certain weight costs one price. And so even though that one is nothing, it's still under the threshold but if that's under the threshold too, 
that means they both sell for the, spend for the same price. So, but the issue with these ones is that, um, yeah, I just can't sell them for the um, 20 bucks, so I'll have to do a sort of higher reserve on any of the woodblock ones, that's all. So what would the reserve be? Um, I probably need to calculate it because I would... Uh, what did we say before, Mikey? Maybe it, it might be higher. It might be like eighty dollars. Let me just do the calculator. But I think that's right. I think me and Mikey have done it before. Um, right. Craig's starving. Let's say take a break and clean it. I like. There he goes back to look at his stuff in the mirror. I like the the media and I like the um I don't know what I'm trying to say. I like what you're doing with those and I especially like the one of them. This one you like. Yes. That's all kinds of crazy. I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing a little bit of Old, so they've all got that little bit, and they, these ones haven't been. Um, I'll see if you can see the difference in it because mm -hmm. it's gonna end up being like this one. Like, this one's been fun, and this one, right. so it loses a little bit of that um, mutedness, but everything is kind of deeper. They look nice. But also they're protected because, like this, they're very vulnerable and they make me very scared. <laughs> but once I put them sprayed and coated, then you know you could touch them. And stuff. But yeah, so that will still get yeah, a coating on it, a resin. I am really fond of this one. I Makes me think of where the wild things are. Always said uh, eighty dollars. Does that include shipping? No, because that's the reserve. So you would still have the twenty dollars shipping, unless you had one of the larger pieces being shipped for twenty dollars, because the weight doesn't matter. Is that right? That's right. So I could. I could send like things together and that probably would cost just as much as a part. But yeah, it's really hard, but yeah, I have to do that um, just because of the amount of time I've worked. Right. So I can't, I can't well, are, do them. Are you, are you ready to sell that one? Um. Sure, if that's the one you want, I am. I'm no, I'm patient. I'm going to be here. <laughs> so I'm patient. I just want to be sure you're ready. But yes, I, I am ready. I'm going to come to a point. If the approval, if I get the approval for the um, stall and I sort of am looking to get my stuff up and going with the website, I'm going to start putting stuff aside that I don't want to and that I need to put to places, but at the moment I'm not there yet. So okay. I'm happy to sell everything I can because I'm sort of not putting anything out there very much. Well, if you're ready to sell that one, I'll, I'll bid 100 on it. Oh. If you're ready. If you're not, I'll wait. I'm happy. Well, I mean, are you there, Mikey? Yes. I know. No, no. I know you still want to finish it, of course. But. Yes, I will still um, do the ceiling coat and stuff like that. But I can do that this afternoon even. Like, I can get it done. But I just would be interested to get my perspective on that. I'm not good at um, it. On what? 
that one that I liked wasn't finished and she wanted a reserve of 80 and uh, and of course that doesn't include the shipping because that's the, the $20 shipping so I went ahead and bid 100 because she said she does want to sell it but if she doesn't I don't I don't want it I get it you know I don't catch later. Um, what's what do you need assurance of from me? Whether you should take Bob's offer? Yeah, if I should start selling them. Huh? Yep, if I should start selling them and yeah. For sure. Yeah. The thing is, along with being bad at making decisions, that means that on the spot to just like decide something, I'm not real good at it. And that's why I really get mighty because that's like a voice of reason that I put on a third food, so I can't decide. And I he's better at that way. Yeah, I get that. That way, you know, if there's something I'm not thinking of or whatever, he'll go, oh, hang on, did you think that? But yeah, no. And I'm really great. I'm, I mean, honestly, I am really loving these pieces. They well, are, uh, maybe you'd rather hold on to them then. I just know I just know what I like, and I know I followed your art, so I know they're very special to you, and I know they're a whole new thing. So, of course, as a as a collector, I want one. Um, I would be so happy to be able to send one to you too. But I'm not. I'm not sure if GRB was being funny because it was quite funny. But whether he actually does raise an interesting question as well of about um, uh, what you may have to do to send wood overseas, even though it's treated timber. I'm guessing it should be fine, but it might be worth. I'm, um, I'm guessing it should be fine too. Uh, might well, still be worth looking into. Paper is paper is wood. Yeah. Mm, maybe there's no it's problem. Okay. Um, no debt pictures. The research on shipping that I did. Like, because I did sort of look into it. Um, no. But that's not to say I have exhausted all possible things, but yeah. It seems okay from what you read. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, cool. And, um, I'm feeling not too bad today, except for my shoulders. There and my is no problem or certification required in sending or taking wooden products overseas, with the exception of New Zealand, whose customs may inspect products of unfinished timber if they think it necessary. That's what it says. Yeah, I reckon it'd be fine because it's certainly processed. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Everything I read indicated that it would be fine. Cool. There's also a wonderful thing, and I'm sending something to you, Bob, because I feel really good about it. And there are some people who expect that. If I know that I'm selling stuff to them, it feels um, good. There's been, you know, there's a few people when I sell stuff and I just feel like I know that I'll never, I don't know, oh, it's again. <laughs> and stuff like that, but it's so nice when it's something that I know. Is, um, is Sarah breaking up for anyone else or is it just me? No, she is breaking up a bit. I was just wondering if I needed to restart my machinery. Do I need to? It yeah. would take me a long time. Yeah, let's not go down that avenue. Yeah, let's just uh, deal with it. <laughs> she wasn't breaking it for me, but I just wanted to be real clear about what I was hearing her say, you know, so I could decide if I wanted to, you know, proceed or if she really wants to proceed. That's why I was listening closely. So, yeah. She's not breaking I will it for me. I will be grateful 
I think, to to see. Well, if, if you are ready to part with it, if you're not, I would perfectly understand because it's an awesome piece. But I'll be at 100 with the um, reserve at 80, and I know the shipping's plenty. So. I will be very grateful. Anybody makes a bid, I want to knock you out. No, I want everybody to get a chance. <laughs> Nola says her tracked package from you came a few days ago, Sarah. Beautiful. I love hearing the I hope it was good. Did you put oh. a video on your channel, Nola? We'll get us a link if you've got a video of it or an Instagram of you receiving it. Oh, wrong one. I love knowing when they have come safely and stuff. It's such a good feeling. <laughs> um, but that reminds me, I have run out of, like, cards because I bought some cards that I was selling at the market and then I, because I haven't been doing the market, so I was using them for every time someone bought something and I was sending it in the... Oh, that's, that's what I do too. I was putting the card in there and I'm run out, so I'm going to have to order some more, which I'm actually kind of excited about because now I get to choose new ones that I, you know. But, um, yeah, I just got had to get some more myself not too long ago. I got the, the ducks, I think I showed you guys already, but people who are getting their cards are going to be getting. Their cards in one of these notebooks, note cards. Oh, that's sweet. Nice. Because I had to get some new ones too, because I was totally out. So I can totally relate to what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. So it's I always, it's always fun to get new ones, except for the price of them. Of course. <laughs> I've got that because I want to get some, I've got to get those, and I'm trying to gear up to get some more business cards because I've run out of business cards now and um i also would really like to get some new stickers um but once i start stacking those things on top of each other <laughs> like um, you know. sarah or uh, nona sarah yes you put in the u.s dollar right yeah. US dollars, yeah. As most of the audience is American, we just talk in US dollars. Yeah. When we and first uh, were doing options, we had to make that decision. And at first, like, people were getting confused, so it was just easier to make the most people were over there. Those dollars. Um, and we can chuck my one that Bob got in with yours too and save him a wee bit of postage as well. Absolutely. So I only pay one lot of postage, Bob. Is anybody bidding on that or did I get it? I reckon you've got it. Yeah, I reckon. It's, I reckon it's a, it. What's the thing? Yeah, it's a high. Awesome. And now, now I'm confused about the who do we pay, uh, who's PayPal. Pay so hey, everything to me. All right. And then I'll sort it out. So I owe Dr. Black 45 and you 100. So I'll put it all together. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just get, I'll just take my money for the picture whatever that turns out to be or you can just put it back into your stuff it's fine it's 25 dollars buy a two gallon of gas <laughs> <laughs> well that does remind me too I'm, my car's very empty of fuel at the moment okay. g'day dd 
Hey, Dee Mine's always on the verge of empty. <laughs> Right. So, Pam, are you still drawing? Yeah. And more. Or is Sarah are you through for now? Why well, well, is it? Sarah's got some more stuff that she could sell. Okay. And is that the one you're talking about got before? One, she's still got one giveaway to do too. That's uh -huh. true. I've got one giveaway. But so, before Doctor Blanc. That was I, um, Huawei was asking earlier if um, I ended up selling the one that I originally sold, and I believe it was this one because it's the only one that I've signed. So that one looks like an um, um, an elephant with neat designs on it. Tattooed Don't elephant. you guys think so? You guys see the elephant? I can see that. Yeah. So. See, Sarah, Sarah gets me. It looks to me like a cute fox with a uh, anteater snout. No, it looks like an Indian elephant with, with neat Indian designs on it. I can huh. see that too. If you turn it sideways, though, it'll look like a fox. The other sideways, sorry. Yeah, see a fox with a long uh, snout. Yeah, I can see that too. <laughs> I, I like the elephant better. <laughs> right, so no, it's for sale. It's for sale. Her. It's a cool drawing. A lot of lines in that. Oh, that one's still for sale. I'll, I'll show you guys real quick what I'm working on, but it's only, it's not even like one quarter done. It's just, I'm just kind of getting it going. But I'll show you real quick and see if anybody can tell what it is going to be. Oh. You would blow it up. I could see it. <clears throat> well, there's there's not really a lot to see yet because I just started it tonight. I'm We're looking at another bison. Um, a demon goat. <laughs> that's what I'm working on. A demon goat. Yep, that's it. That's what I'm gonna name it Bob. Awesome! I'm honored. <laughs> That's actually a good name for a band, Demon Goat. Tell us what it says, Craig. Coffee. Oh my gosh, I don't have any coffee in front of me. I should go make some coffee. I, can't have I still coffee. have tonight on my paid, um, oh. Paid StreamYard. It's not switched over to the freebie yet. So tonight, I'm sure it's the last night. So we're going to take advantage of it and go for a while. So I should go make some coffee, huh? PJ wants to know if we can bid on that goat yet. I mean, that uh, demon goat. <laughs> can you bid on It's not done yet. It's <laughs> probably, I'll probably have it um, available on Tuesday, on Tuesday night stream. That's a dedicated I mean, fan who's willing to bid on an unfinished piece. Yeah. <laughs> I always have faith that it's going to turn out beautiful. I think that's a given, really, isn't it? Yeah, really. Is. How did she end up on it when it's a rare piece because it's a buffalo face, it looks like? Yeah, it's a buffalo mm. face. Wrong end of the buffalo animal. Head. I know. it's It's turned around the wrong way, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> nope, it'll be available Tuesday night, so. Well, well what else have you got there to be on? <laughs> Just the, um, the big horn, the young big horn. See, I can't believe nobody's got that. I know nobody's ever bid on it, and I like it, but. That doesn't mean anything, I guess. <laughs> uh, sure enough. Um, I have a picture that was my favorite. And when I was putting stuff out there, I was like, oh, and I was sort of scared that someone was going to buy it because I liked it so much. And like, no one else liked it. No one else even. It was just like 
No one even noticed it. Who happened? I have it on my wall. Yeah, isn't it, I it, did I it's weird it? when that happens. I guess we don't always know which one of our works is people are going to like, you know. Yeah. But I always, I also always look at it like um, every piece that I do has has somebody that it belongs to. It just sometimes uh -huh. takes longer for that person to find it. I can guess. Does that does that make sense? Perfect. Absolutely. And it feels so good. You know when something's going to the person that it's meant to go to and it just feels like. A classic, feel a classic example of that. I'll show you the drawing real quick. And I'm going to tell you that it's a story. So you guys are going to hear one of my stories. about TJ, TJ said he didn't hear what you said about the, the big horn. Oh, I, um, nobody's bid on it yet. It's a $50, $50 reserve on it. And it's a five by seven. Did you show it? Yeah, I showed it. Okay. I was screaming at the parrot. I had to go out of here for a minute. Okay, so I did this drawing. I'm going to show you guys real quick. When I was living on Cape Cod, I did this drawing. Da, 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 right there. That one. And, um... I put it in a gallery on on Cape Cod, and it was a three thousand dollar drawing because it was a big drawing. And it sat there for a full year, and nobody bought it. And it's like you know, it happens. And then the following summer, after it had been sitting there for a year, this the owner of the gallery told me this. This lady came in. And she said, she described the drawing and she said she saw it last year and she could not get it out of her mind. And it, was it still there? And the owner of the gallery told her yes. And she burst out crying because she was so happy because she'd been thinking about that drawing all year long and didn't get a chance, you know, until she went on vacation again to come back and get it. And she was so happy to get it that she started crying. That's what I mean, that every drawing has a person for it. Sometimes it just takes a little while for the person to, and for the two to connect to each other. For the drawing to find the person. For the drawing to find the person or the person to find the drawing. That's how I feel about it anyways. So, okay. So what are we going to do now? You're going to show some more art to sell, Sarah? Um, I can do that. Now you go to the white pile. <clears throat> white pile. Oh, I can do myself. Guys. <laughs> um, I have this one, which is one of the little ones, but I really like him. He's very cool. Yeah, I'm very fond of him. TJ asks if you ended up getting good money for, for that the drawing. For, yeah, for the drawing of the old man. I actually I sold that for three thousand dollars. Plus, it got put into a book called um, Contemporary Masters. It's in that book. If you ever find you ever see it, it's like a a tabletop art book. So yeah. So that, that drawing was a successful, but it took me, it, it sat there for a full year before it sold. So when, when you go I'm into a book that, like that, you know, what's that? When you go into a book like that, do you get a one off fee for putting your art in that book or do you get a continuing royalty from the book? No, it, cause somebody else, it, it was a museum that put the book out. Oh, and okay. um, I had the opportunity to buy as many as I wanted for a reduced price was what I got out of it, which I got a couple of them. So, yeah. What was the name of the book again? It's called Contemporary Masters. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty impressive title to be included mm -hmm. in there. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I agree, Dee Dee. Yeah, I love that one, Dee Dee. But, yeah.
It does look like a portrait to me, Divine. I didn't get any damn thing out of it, though. So, but right now we're seeing if anybody wants to buy some of Sarah's artwork here. Get it done. I still have that shirt, too. What was the story on the one that's on your right that you're still holding? Those two, yeah, one? yeah. Didn't it get sold or something, and then it didn't leave? Or? No, it has no story. It did, I didn't sell, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I offered it up or not. It may have been offered up oh, when my. I think it was. I think it was offered up one time, but nobody bid on it. But they should because it's a pretty awesome drawing. Yeah. It might have been the time when Mikey was doing it because I don't think I have offered it up. Like, but maybe I'm wrong because you know memory and stuff. So. Yeah, that it could be that it was the time that Mikey was doing it because you were gone that night. Mm. Yeah, I really like it. And the only other story I have about it is it just was a day, and all of the pictures have the marks, and that's all saying this one's got those same marks. But there's another one somewhere, or maybe it's one that I already sold. Oh, and this one, of course, has those guys as well. I would just like to say. They're cool. Have... They're both cool. Yeah. And maybe Ed would really like that. With their tentacles. Yeah, because of the, what's his name? Cthulhu. Cthulhu, yeah. That one says no, no. <clears throat> The one at the front now, Nonna? Oh, that's going to be hard with this delay, isn't it? I thought that one had been sold too. So this one did get sold, and then the person at with, alongside a couple of others, um, and then they just did, didn't follow through with it. Um, I am, Sarah, I'm, I'm going to apologize because I'm going to leave you up for a minute while I go start some coffee. So you can just keep showing art and talking and see if it sells while I go start some coffee for a minute, okay? I'll try it and cope with that. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now um, that she's out of the way. But yeah, this one I just really like. I don't know the way that it came about and everything. I just. I really like it. Uh, I think not saying that's not the one she was talking about anyway. Um, no, look, he was on uh, Tennessee Fish Mafia tonight for a while. He, he called me and woke me up. I was late for my stream, so he's doing good. Yeah, he is doing better, though, he said. Sorry, Sarah. It's all right. And I do want to know that Ed is feeling better as well. He is. He is. Yeah. Can't rush those back things. 
that's the thing. Nola bids 20 on the little one. Which I think is a good score because he's pretty wicked, that little dude. Oh, he really is, actually. <laughs> um, uh, because this was trying out the different, it was, it's like a different pen that supposedly should be theoretically the same as the pens that I use, but they're not the same. So sort of playing around with it and it was really fun and he kind of just came out because of that difference in the pen. And I, I'm so like in my, I, like every kind, different kind of mark and different kind of line, I have a lot of emotional attachment to and I sort of like, you know, I read a lot more into them than probably everyone else does when they look at the work. But for me, that was one of the things, like the way that the lines were playing out, which is really nice. And it's so fine. <laughs> <You're so> fine. <laughs> I'm happy you can't see all the stuff. <laughs> Dee asks, is that a droopy, a droopy booby with a nipple on it? This one? I'm yeah. like, I can't say that I do draw, I do draw droopy boobies just because only. Oh, you know what? I see what you're saying. Looks like a belly. It absolutely could be. It could be a belly. It could be a, a boob. The thing is, I don't plan it when I'm doing it, but... That could totally be a boob, right? Yeah. Especially in Dee Dee's perspective. Well, but look, I have a really fond affection for really, you know, exaggeratedly droopy boobs. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of imagery in our cultures with, you know, this idea of, these sort of perfect breasts, which are beautiful, but I just really, um, I really enjoy the sort of the misshapen and, you know, elongated and or just all the other different shapes of breasts. Right. Yes, give me natural weird shapes any day over perfect round pretend boobs. Yeah. I mean, yeah, pretend boobs are another story. Again. Yeah, I see I'm going to knock you out. Yeah, I, just, uh, I don't have the thing I was going to show. A different drawing with the some droopy boobies but you know i actually have a lot of droopy baby drawings not as many lately because um i haven't been going to my drawing group my life drawing group because <sighs> the hall's getting renovated where we were doing it so they had to move to a different hall and the day that was available is a different day but i arranged my whole work schedule having a day off on the day that it originally was on and so now I just am always at work on the day that it's on and I can't go and I'm actually kind of devastated but I can see that in my work like there just aren't enough boobs in my work lately <laughs> you heard it here yeah <laughs> I won't. I want to. I have a drawing from one of the last times when I went to the life drawing group where, like, what happened is there was one model and then there was another lady who sort of wanted to see if she wanted to model. And so she sort of jumped up for a couple of poses and her first pose that she jumped up and did 
very different to most of the other ones, but she just like bent over right in front of me and I did this piece and like I kind of like I kind of like it. But um it was really interesting because I'm not easily confronted, but it was just really confronting because I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. And then it was just like there's my bum hole. And I was like, I would have I would have like gone, yay. <laughs> It's a button for me to draw. <laughs> it was exciting. <laughs> yes, we're pushing out of that boundary, but it was still that like, moment where I had to go, like, there's a whole circle of people, and I was at the center of the universe. <laughs> and did okay, you, so what, what's going on? Did you sell something? Hang on, didn't you, draw, didn't you say you drew a picture of that confronting imagery? Were you going to show it? I, yeah. Well, yeah, but it's in the other room. Oh, right. oh, well, it. It's probably not that exciting. I can go and grab it if you like, and you can sit with my messy bedroom. Or, you know, not, but whatever. Well, I'm back now, so we can go like that while you go get it. Noel has, um, Noel has still got 20 bucks on the little guy. No one else has bid more than that. And Pam, when you are out of the room, uh, Huawei upped his membership. Oh, thank you, Huawei. Droopy boobies look better than saggy balls. I will totally agree with that. Actually. Oh, hell yeah. All day long. <laughs> it's funny how the older I get, the more frequently I sit on my own balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not a pleasant feeling. I wonder what causes that. Not that it was ever happened to me. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go back to drawing. I should be yeah. drawing a buffalo here instead of listening to you guys. <laughs> well, she still hasn't shown all of her stuff. Oh yes, it's on the Currently. Are you gonna be showing us something? Do I need to blow you up? Oh, you don't have to blow me up, but I can show it. Okay, I want to blow you up. There you go. How much for that? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that's blacky. I can tell it's blacky. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's not either, is it? Uh, no. <laughs> much better I told you I'm blind. Wrong set, sorry. I put some coffee on Divine, so yeah. That's funny. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Ugh. You had a couple more you didn't show, didn't you, Sarah? Um. <laughs> I have so many I didn't show. <laughs> well, you, um, you just showed a couple and then you did that sale. I was showing some of the black and whitey ones. And the yeah. Okay, did Noah buy one? Because you should, like, say that that one sold and get the information okay, okay. out on that one before you go on to more. Yeah. That Noah bought this one, which is really nice. That one is pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put that. On this, or not on that stack though, on that stack. Okay. Um, you know, and then I've still got lots of black and whitey ones. And you know, obviously, if you do want that one, <laughs> speak up. Um, but um, yeah, so I've still got like black and whitey ones. If people are. Interesting. And then I do still have a few of these guys. Can you go back to, you had one of your other black and white ones that looks like a beetle guy. Nonna's, I think Nonna's been trying to get us to show that one again. A beetle. I'm not it's a like, little frog-faced guy with horns. No, the other rounded, more rounded face looking. Yeah, that guy. 
Yeah, I think that's the one Nona's talking about. That's what she was saying, DD. That's the pose the model in the life drawing class struck. Right pointed straight there at Sarah's face. It was just like it was just like one lady, and as it turned out, the model on that day was this um, lady Emma, and I really love her modeling. I really feel really inspired when she's modeling. So I was like, in the full flow of Emma energy, and then it was like just out of the blue, they were like, oh, actually, you know, so Sophia's gonna come and you know do a pose, and so and then it was like so within like a minute, I went from one person to a completely different person on a table right in front of me <laughs> and so it was just like, like that moment of but it was great because then I jumped in and like I actually really liked the drawing and um Nona's offering 20 bucks up for that guy wicked bargain I love that dude he's choice it's actually really cool <laughs> <clears throat> yeah Yeah, because no, he's on that. going to have some exciting mail coming. Reckon, right? Oh, no, that's right. It's already gone. Um, sorry, excuse me. And because, like, these ones are like the, they're like twice as big as these little ones. So it's like a, it's a good piece. This chat's going out of control with boob talk. <laughs> and Jenny Lynn says that one would look great on a shirt. It would indeed. I imagine you've got that scanned. I will have. That's probably an, another one that would look really good um, negative. Yeah, well, so what I found is that I like to do a lot of um, the pieces, um, yeah, inverted and negative on the shirts. But I have, I have this shirt. Mikey has seen it before. But I have one colour one that I really want to do with a um, – there was a little piece with a dragon with some skulls. And it, I ended up colouring it and turning it into something that's going to look really good on a T-shirt. But otherwise, I'm mostly just going with the inverted ones. And I'm also getting to a point, just by the way, not to actually push anything, but I'm going to be pulling the Dan's Dragon and other ones off my store soon when I'm ready because I have a different vision. And I'm like, those guys have been up, so then it'll be whoever's got one, got one. It's not something that can happen again. But um, yeah, I'm getting, I'm gearing myself up to pulling those down and putting up a different set of designs. It's just that I really want to work on the designs that I've got and get them. It's hard because I don't get a sample from the online store to see, you know, how it's coming out. But I sort of just have a vision of what ones I want to have on there. So I'm going to be adding some guys up and changing it up a little bit. So This, okay. um, this one fine. that you're holding up now, does that still qualify for the untracked shipping? Yeah, that's in a size that can go in the untracked shipping. Cool. I believe Nonna was just querying the size for that reason. I think... Clarify um, if that's what you meant, Nona. Wow. It's going to have a lot of um, pieces in there. So hopefully, because it's got to get under half a centimetre, which I think it will still easily. But, yeah, it's the same size. Hang on. Brain. 
same size as these ones. I reckon if we to take a bid on that guy, we can probably call that one sold as well. Yeah. Actually, like, it's going to be really exciting opening this package because... Oh, Nonna says she's going to pay tracking anyway. Okay. So she's going to have... Still, like, they're probably still... I'm just going to test them to leave Still going to be under. So they still could go untracked. But it's a lot of work to send untracked and trust the postal system with... Um, but, you know, she's got uh, three pictures from the other day to go through and then the three from today and then the prize one and the one we just did then. So and it's going to be a she's really got one that she won from me that's coming too. So she's going to have all kinds of stuff coming in her mail. Exciting. That's nice. Should we, um, should we test Nonna's luck again and do your other giveaway? I'm happy to do the other giveaway. Okay. So everybody knows the rules. We're just, you get a guess a number between 1 and 75. One guess per person only. And whoever comes closest without going over wins the drawing that she's holding up right now. And I want it. So I'm going to put in a number and nobody better take my number. <laughs> yeah. Let's start right now. I actually like this picture. It's one of those ones that didn't get noticed, but I like it. The the lines, so it's really for me something about the quality of the line itself, the variations in the thickness and how it goes and then how it intersects with the other lines. It's something I get like a little bit. That's one of the reasons why I really enjoy making the art and it's something that really works out here and oh Dee like, Dee, you are in trouble <laughs> Dee, 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 Dee. i can beat you up <laughs> uh did bob send the your package plan um i think he's gonna do it monday no, this is okay. this monday, is sunday night it. here um oh, yeah. monday yeah I've got it laid out to check with me tomorrow when I leave. Did you want to put in a number, Bob? I'll type it in for you. Number 41. Chuck a number in before you go, Devon. Two more minutes of your time and you might win. Well, you just like chuck the number in and then even if you disappear, you'll still be the winner afterwards, right? Yeah. Have another axolotl die. So oh no! I was going around feeding and found one. Bugger. Put a number in before you go, Divine. You can still win. We'll catch up with you later. Other than that, good night. Now, Dee Dee, if they if that number gets drawn, then we'll just do a, a mud wrestling. <laughs> no. in, cho in chocolate syrup. All right. I'm wild in here. I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> no, it is the extra model smell, I'm sure. Okay. Make sense. Wait, Huawei's playing for Trash Cat, but Trash Cat's got a number in. 
So yeah. Trash Cat's got two chances. What? What is this shenanigans? He's being kind. He's using his chance for her, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. You got to keep an eye on my way all the damn time. Right, we got any more numbers in? Is what do we got here? Twenty four people, twenty three, twenty four people. Twenty four people right now. No, mm -hmm. no, I'm definitely not getting too hot. I've been running it cooler in here than I usually do. Lemon, oh, you're just the old. So there's a couple of people viewing that haven't put numbers in by my count. So if you haven't put a number in, put it in really quick because I'm going to hit stop here in a little bit. That's you magic. could, you could, Nona. You should try it. It just might be your night. Nona's got a number in. Okay, I'm going to type stop. It does. All right. And stop. And then we'll go over to the to the random generator. Let me see. Where's my random number generator? There it is right there. Random number generator. And we'll do a drum roll. Da -da 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 and see what we get. Generate a number. Number 11. I think I won. 11. Might be Bruiser. Trash Cat 21. By my scanning, Bruiser is 07, which I assume is 7. Oh, yeah, that's right. And across the second scan, he is the closest without going over 11. Yep, that's the closest one that I see. All right. Okay, so Bruiser is the winner, so you need to send your shipping information to Sarah. Um, can I say it? That, um princess at hotmail.com maybe someone can type it in to make it yep yeah grasshopper just got it hey sam you're the best so jenny land got something and he got something too how about that mm -hmm. And I will. Sarah through holding up stuff. Um, like I can if people still want to see stuff, but I also don't want to throw stuff down people's throats or whatever. We've still got 23 people in here, so show some more stuff. Yeah, I think people's throats are pretty resilient around here. Yep, I think so. Except for Bob, who gagged at the thought of me and Dee Dee mud yeah. wrestling. <laughs> I lost it then. Smoke came out my ears, my eyeballs bugged down. Um, but other, other than Bob, I think we can show more artwork. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is it possible for me to just first just show the artwork? in a little corner with everyone else still there and then if someone likes something then you can make me big is that yours over friend? there yeah. fluid over there a little bit bigger and blacker than floyd oh is that floyd making that noise no, no it's Right. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because that's a weird, weird noise for him. <laughs> Might be the little raven, though. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to flash her up there again. <laughs> you got a bit on that, Bob. Oh, and I do I'm pray, praying for you, Pam. <laughs> Yeah, they, that's actually that's a that's a drawing of me and Dee Dee mud wrestling. <laughs> it's just so funny because the sound of that crow is so and familiar it's my brain's tripping out on whether it's here or somewhere else and stuff up there now that piece is the second one back now this one yeah what about that is that for sale yep all it, i'm holding up all the ones that are for sale is there a reserve on that no not on this one is it a uh, Regular shipping or have to go in the big one. Wait a minute, I already got big stuff coming. So you already got big shipping. We're done. Um, I'll be at um, fifty on that. Oh. Yeah, it's quite a beautiful piece. Yeah, it's well, this nice. is like the like the wood. This is she's never done a piece like this. So, and she was talking about it earlier. So, usually when she starts something new, she pursues it. I've noticed. So. <coughs> Mate, you're too loud. <laughs> Did you? Can you say again what you said about this one, Sarah? Well, I'm not sure what I said before, but I'll say no, what. So, I, I mean, I don't know what happened with this one something just happened and i was so what i did is reverse so often i would i usually start with ink unless i'm doing acrylic painting i'm usually starting with the ink and then i'll use watercolor this is watercolor i sort of started with the watercolor and then built up with the ink over the and um yeah i don't know i mean i really like it because I don't know, something about the watercolor is kind of got this ethereal sort of watery nature that it has, but then all of the ink work feels a lot more um, yeah. I'm over kind of structural and gross, like it has a, a different um, energy to it. And I like the way that they kind of play together. Yeah. I like that. I hope you do more like that. But yeah, I'll bid 50 on it all day long. Yeah, I think um, it's something that I'd like to play with the idea more. This is just like my first foray into sort of a different direction. It reminds me a little bit, does anyone know the movie um, Mirror Mask? No. So it's one of my favourite movies, actually. You should, like, all watch it. Um, I say that. Uh, I what was know. it called? It's called Mirror Mask. Like a mirror that you look at yourself in and a mask that you cover your face with. Correcto in one word. Okay, um, somebody wants to know if you could please tell us again which shirt designs you're pulling down because I'm they sorry. believe they may need to get those ones. So the ones I'm going to be pulling down soon are Dan's Dragon and I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's like the Siamese Dragons, the Conjoined, it might be called. I've got that one, yeah. And 
I'm not sure. There's another one that's up there, and I can put it mask, and it, I really like it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it up or not. I, I just want a T-shirt with it on it, and then I'll pull it down maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So did anybody else bid on that? Yeah, so I, I think that mirror mask may be either written or else the screenplay is written or something by Neil Gaiman. Um, it's, it is kind of early 2000s and the potentially the, like, what is it, like computer animation and graphics and stuff is not as up to date as some stuff, but... And sure, if you're going to get really critical, the story you can see that it reflects in a lot of stories, but stories are like that, right? We have a certain number of stories and they're repeated, but it is a great movie and I highly recommend it. Um, but completely unintentionally, but when I look back at this, there's something that reminds me of it. But with no one having seen it, I don't want to give anything away. So. Is it because of the appearance of a reflection up above the head there? Not necessarily, no. Right. Because it's something to do with there's like a an evil queen and a mm. sort of thing to do with just something in the aesthetic. I didn't intend it, but when I look at it, something about it, um, it just is familiar to me. But well, I always pop, popped a link into the chat for the trailer of it, and it is visually stunning. It's freaking awesome. Like, I don't know. If you like fantasy and weird stuff, watch this movie. Like, it's a really good, and it's good because it's not that sort of cliche Hollywood movie either, you know. Even though, like I said, obviously the storyline is getting really analytical, is, you know, not necessarily a completely original once you sort of dig underneath it. But yeah. not, it's great. Not, not available for streaming unless you rent it off YouTube or Google Play or Apple TV. Oh, really? From what I could just see. Uh, I mean, I had it on um, a DVD that someone burned for me. So. <laughs> yeah, just ran to a bite. Yeah, it's Samuel Goldwyn, and I've never seen a Samuel Goldwyn film I didn't like. And Jim okay. Henson Productions as well. Oh, yeah, it is true, Jim Henson. Yeah. Mm. G'day, June. We can all say that Jim Henson stuff is... Oh, it's good, right? But, yeah, that's just such a good movie, so I highly recommend it to everyone. Uh, I think I see what oh, I see now. Yeah, I see what I think reminded you. Or it does me anyway. It, it was one of those things that I watched and it felt like I was remembering it. I don't know if that makes sense, if you know what I mean, when you sometimes just see something and it just feels like it's not like someone, something else external to you coming into you. It's like something that you already know just sort of being drawn out of you. That is beautiful about it. I love it. Well, that was a 2005 film too. That sounds about right. Hey, June. Um, I need to um, go 
works at this toilet, so maybe I could not be on the big screen anymore. I try and take it gracefully, but it's like um, a really challenging place to be. Pam Nonham wants to know if you're owed money. Is Pam offering coffee again? I don't know. And I'm stuck on the big screen. If I go, then everyone's just left here in my very messy bedroom. She gets over on my only fans page and get off there. All right. That's Can't keep up with her on streams. Good day, Coro. I am going to vanish for a sec. Is that going to work? Yeah. Like, I, was, I was getting coffee. Is there something somebody said to me? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did assume that you Nona were. says, do I owe money? No, you won that drawing. So you are fine. Damn it, Pam. I was almost getting ready to make something off that giveaway. <laughs> Pam, can you pull Sarah down so she can disappear to the toilet, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can do that. I'm sorry. I got up and got coffee. I figured I could sneak over and get it, and nobody would even notice I was gone. Okay. And you guys don't talk to me for 45 minutes, and as soon as I get up to get coffee, <laughs> everybody starts trying to talk to me. We do it. We coordinate. We have walkie-talkies. So okay. <laughs> Now, Bob Martin. Yeah, so I was I, doing research for more saggy ball picks. That must have been it. I told you she was on my OnlyFans page. <laughs> So nobody trash cat. Quick question. I've been waiting on that question for three hours. Trash cat. Or watching for it. Hmm. So no nobody bid against me on the last piece Sarah sold or is trying to sell. The the electric head. I don't think anybody has that I saw. Well, can we call it sold? Because I'm going to go ahead and close out. I think. We can call it closed. I reckon. All right. And congrats. It's a wicked and, and now, see, Blackie's drawing will get sent with that one. Also, Sarah's a piece of wood. That's right, yeah. It was 150 so it's 250 We'll have to wait till uh, Sarah comes back June and we'll pop something else up to bid on. Some great prices on this stuff too, I'm telling you. <clears throat> um, yeah, one way I I followed that link, but my antivirus didn't like it very much. Trying to get a virus fungus. I like the look of it, Huawei. So I, I think it was only like two ninety nine on YouTube. So. Um, you know, I, I don't mind paying three bucks for a movie that Sarah recommends so highly. I've got my, I've 
I've got my monies mixed up somehow. I've got a $20 shipping and a $25 drawing for Dr. Black. And this last one from Sarah was a hundred. It's the one before that that I'm forgetting. Well, you got a hundred on the piece of wood. Okay, that's the one. And fifty for the last one. And fifty and fifty for the last drawing. Oh, it was fifty for this last one? Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's where I'm messing up. So I was about to send fifty too much. Yeah. This is my deals. So my total is 200, I think. Or thereabouts. And June says she got the package from you, Sarah. Oh, yay. <laughs> well, good news. Did you do a vid on it, Jane? Pop it up on your channel. Share the link with us. We'll get Huawei to you. That's always rad when people do a little unboxing of artwork. Yeah. Somebody's knocking on my door. At this hour? In the front door, yeah, my uh glass storm doors locked and they can't they can't see me where i'm sitting so i'm not moving my ass at all oh, 11. Nice. it's like it's like the wee hours of the morning who's going to be knocking at your door at this time of night i don't know but my gun's behind me in the bedroom and i'm just sitting right here they can't see me yeah because it's 11 40 here so that'd be it's like almost two o'clock in the morning there who the yeah. heck is going to be knocking at your door at two o'clock in the morning? Somebody that won't get a response. Unless they're on their way home from the bar. Yeah. No. They can keep, keep on going. And my garage is closed up, so they can't get around there. Unless they come around to the deck around here, but that would be a big mistake. Worms got her radar on down here. When you said that, it reminded me. There's a song I've been listening to a lot, but it's one of the lines in it is about that somebody's knocking on the door, and it just flashed me into that. Sarah, when you get, I sent my uh, payment so far, but will you uh, verify it's correct? And uh, no, that, that would assume that she's been taking notes, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Because nobody, nobody on, and, and this house was, I was about to send you too much. Nobody in this house. Um, I'm going to try and find some paper. There we go. And I've got, well, what did you get? You got the wood block and the other piece. Is that all? The wood block was a hundred. No, that's not all. The wood block and was a hundred. Mikey's one as well. And this last piece was fifty. And then was the that? the twenty five dollar one from from um, Blackie. Blackie. And then twenty shipping. Be sure to don't forget to put your name on that, Blackie. Ah, oh, yeah, good reminding. I would have totally forgot if you didn't say that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me. My exquisite fancy signature. That's right. You need it needs to be on it. I know, Nona. It's like almost two o'clock in the morning. Who the hell is going to be knocking on his door at two o'clock in the morning? They only knock twice. The dogs, the dogs the only even... bees. someone in peril or someone up to no good right. yeah. the, the dogs didn't even bark it was so light they didn't even bark 
and one would assume that if it was someone in peril that they'd make a little bit noise more noise than a couple of knocks let's go over there worm and turn on the light and see what kind of monsters looking at us and there's the way forward for backup for aerial support yeah they see these snakes and stuff they won't want in here probably <laughs> Yes, uh, it sure is dark out there. It sure is dark. Oh, I can see you really good. I don't think there's anybody out there. They pressed on if they were out here. Yeah, that's locked. Well, your painting came through and is all good. And also, I'm just having a look. I have got um, an email um, from, from Marisa with an address. So I've got that. And for Sarah, oh, and of course, I've got the colors and I've got her address, and that's all good. And then um, for Sarah, I'm going to have to do an invoice to send to make it so that she can get the payment which is including track shipping right maybe it was a couple black eyed kids uh, that would be nice I've tried to catch some of them to see if you can raise them <laughs> I never can get them. They come up to the car, but they're fast. The truck. They say they don't scream loud, so probably good grilling kids. Right? Yeah. Grilling kids. Pam, I can send you some uh, duckweed with those mice. Got you down for. Hey, come here. Let's get you in your. Come on. Look, Pam was screaming off mice and duckweed. Yeah, mice and duckweed. Aren't I special? Yeah. <laughs> got all the gifts, Pam. Yep. Getting all the love. Hey, Francis. Pretty Francis. Yeah. Well, I didn't draw anything or paint anything or anything tonight. And the world is a better place for it. Not really, but also I and like before the stream was starting and right at the beginning, I was like, I am going to keep this creative flow that I have had going. I'm going to draw heaps of stuff, but instead I'm just talking. Yeah. <laughs> I felt slightly embarrassed trying to hide my face behind pictures and stuff. So. But it's been great, and I'm grateful for it. I didn't draw anything I planned to draw. What were you planning to draw? Cool. So what I was hoping to do was some more of my wood blocks for a start. Um, I had my paint, which is now dried up on my palette. Um, and also, I had cut myself a new set of black papers. So I thought I'll draw four of these. But, um, no, it was another one of these ones where I had... Um, Get out of that. Get cut up the drawing. Yeah. So I can draw on the back. And also, because I just the other day finally got my small pieces of handmade paper, um, again, I was going to do those. So I was like, I'm going to do wood block, wood block, black, 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 and then like a 
your little white ones and I'm going to do all that stuff in the next couple of hours. Well, okay. maybe Tuesday you can do something. Oh, no. Tuesday's Wednesday, right? Yep. Yeah. So, just a moment. I have a boy. I'm going to. Blackie, you see how good he goes in now? Or is Blackie there? He's he's gone. He's gone. I remember the first couple of nights he was giving me advice about how to get Floyd to go to bed. I went in the kitchen just now because he was quiet and he was picking out one of my tomatoes at a time and taking one bite and throwing them in the floor for the dogs. <laughs> so I picked up two or three of them and brought them in here. So that's what he's working on now. Good night. Good night, good boy. All right. I have another dead fish, but it's almost not even anything there anymore. It's one of the big angel fish. Uh -oh. That's weird. Yeah, but there's nothing left of it. The catfish and snails have enjoyed it. <clears throat> Rocky. Well, that was an unfortunate occurrence. <clears throat> you threw up too? Yep. Jesus. Sometimes I can just do a particular type of cough and it can trigger my stomach to empty and that's what just happened. <clears throat> Hello, Aquaria Life. Where did we end up? What were we doing? Yeah, hello. Um, I didn't realize you were gone. Sarah. Hey, Steph. Oh. I thought I was showing you how well um, Fully goes to bed now. But, um, What's the good boy? He was a good boy right. right in there. He had been in the kitchen throwing tomatoes in the floor <laughs> and weren't <laughs> One at a time, you take a bite and then throw it in the floor and get another one. The, the dogs have finished them up. That didn't make them sick. What are you up to, Stephanie? I hope you're. I hope you're feeling better. Um. Coming it took me along. forever to get all the textures on that. Uh, I'm getting there. You know what I'm hopeful for is that I can find the bar. You're breaking up, Bob. I'm hopeful that I can still find the piece of art that Sarah shared couple weeks ago and I can't oh, find yeah. that's gonna be a freaking miracle when that one shows up again because she hasn't held it up since then just that one time on the string any idea about ever whether it was like big or small they were small at smallish not as small as the one you sold tonight and they were two different pieces uh, that I like, but the one that you held in your right hand was kind of a creature or a face that was facing away from the other one. I don't remember what the other one was because I wasn't, you know, that taken with it. So if I saw it, I would know it. So. Like I said, we might end up having to sit and do, uh, you know. 52 card pickup. 
And I'll just go through like everything that I own. <laughs> All the work I've done. Oh, so a, I don't two and think a half to four hour uh, right. messenger video call. Is this it, <clears throat> Um. Oh my gosh! Wait. I think they were both just just ink. I don't think there was any color on the two you held up. Very what I have a whole bunch, so I. Hang on. So wait, wait, wait. Build me a buttercup. You remember that one, Pam? Yeah. Why, why do you build me a buttercup just to let me down? Was it used in a, a bread advert over there as well? Because <laughs> that's what we did, yeah. What, Buttercup? Yeah. Not that I remember. It might have. Yeah, well, one of our, you know, stodgy stock standard white breads was called Buttercup and they used that song for their uh, oh, wow. advertising chicken. That's an old, old song. When I was a kid, that's when that was popular, like eight or ten. I don't know if Bob's been looking at them, Scungy. You might go back to that first one you showed. No, I haven't been looking. I'm sorry. It's getting coffee made. That's okay. You're busy, Bob. Why this? No, no, that's fine. I'm ready to look. No, no, but this again. <laughs> no. Yeah, I thought so. I don't want to be the big guy. Smaller, smaller than all of these, about half the size of all these. Well, then all these are wrong because I was these guys. No. Some of these guys. They're Cause they're you, all the same. Because you held up two pieces, and it was the one in your right hand. It was faced away from the other one, and I'm like, I like that, but then I never saw it again. I should have said stop. <laughs> That's kind of cool there. Yeah, I like that one. That one's going to be the backdrop to my website. Ah. Okay. And that one's cool. But um, all these ones are big. So none of them are going to be bright. Lots of nipples in these. Just saying. D-Day's in heaven. I love nipples. <clears throat> Who doesn't? As they're called in my house, nibbles. There's a song. Oh, I think it's in a chorus line, tits and ass. It is, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, there. it's smaller than all these. It's a little drawing. Like I said, these ones are all the same. So as soon as you said smaller, I'm like, it's none of these. Yeah. Oh. And it's it's not a humanoid kind of thing. It was more of a more of a critter. Hmm. These are a hundred percent all the same size, that's why they're in this particular pile together. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's, that's cool right. there. Yeah. You're going so fast, Sarah. I like I know. That. I can, I can, I can. She's only got three and a half thousand to show, for goodness sake. Right. So, plus, I'm, I'm just so keen to not be the only one on the screen. And they, okay, I'll go like this and go slower when you show them then. People can go back and watch the replay at like okay. 0. Like, 0.25 speed if they want the slow version of the exhibit. That's true. Pause it. 
I did drop some, but like I'm happy to show them again if they're wanted, but also, you know. But yeah, all right, knowing that it's smaller, I will look at what files I have, Bob. Is that your dinner, Bob? Yeah. <laughs> Frozen mouse, can you tell? Actually, it's for two snakes to feed tonight. They are asking for their mouse. And they're looking like that. It's our food. Uh, I had about um, three days to learn that song on bass guitar, Brown Eyed Girl. Yeah, I like that song. I was, I, say that I was filling in for a mate of mine as bass player in a wedding band. <clears throat> and it's, you know, for someone who's not a regular bass player, it was quite a busy baseline to learn in so few days that, that's kind of surprising oh wait hang on my son's calling me it was a fun gig though had to learn lots of other songs most of them i already knew i wonder which song written first first um brown eyed girl or brown eyed girl. what was the second option don't it your brown eyes blue um oh. that was a big kind of folk hit and it was dolly parton's little thing. except you're breaking up bob yeah i reckon it probably was that unless someone did um Brown Eyed Girl before Van Morrison. Divine was tossing and turning, so came back. Well, you didn't win the giveaway, Divine, with your number one. Oh, Dee Dee's I do saying Brown, Brown Eyed Girl was first. Dee Dee knows. She's like Pam. She's up there. I thought, um, Story. Don't make my brown eyes blue. I thought that was um, Shana Easton. Did she do a version of that as well? Possibly, but it, the original one was country only, and it was, uh, yeah, no, it, was, the, it was uh, Crystal Gale. Gale. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, not Shana Easton. Because I remember I had just moved into a new split thing. Um, what do you call them? Not a condominium, but a house. A duplex. Duplex, and was painting it. Had the windows open, repainting it, and I was in school to be a nurse. And it was on the radio. The people next door. I remember that. It's a lovely song, too. wonder if she's still got all that long hair now. Yeah, it was down longer than that, Dee Dee. It was down to her ankles in the back. She wasn't that <laughs> tall, but Dolly's a little tiny thing, too. Dolly ain't got no hair. Dolly ain't got no hair. Probably not much of her own. Nope. Pictures of her when she was a kid, she didn't couldn't grow hair. She's worth four hundred million. I saw something the other day. I'm counting. What was the one Whitney Houston? I will always love you. That was a Dolly song. She had to make it worth enough there. Uh, the um, the hero. I believe Happy. the children are the future one. Is that the one that the priest sings in Coming to America? 
I don't know. I don't know. The creature, and they go to like the the thing, and that's what he thinks. Yeah, I think it is. But have that's a wonderful movie. All right. Coming to America, the Eddie Murphy oh. one. You know, it may have shaped me as a child because I probably watched it from the age of, I don't know, 8 to 12. I may have watched it 15 times between the ages of 8 and 12, so it probably had more of an impact on me than I'm willing to say. Pam, you wanted me to put you down for some of these baby scorpions too, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, along with the duckweed and <laughs> mice. The duckweed and the mice. That sounds like a fun combo. Great unboxing video. <laughs> Oh, I need to do some drink and put aside my giant stack of A4s again. I want to know. It sounds fine when you say it, but if I say that in public, I get in trouble. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> oh, Chappie, it's you're like killing yourself. That doesn't sound good. Like Yeah. See, Mikey, he loves my package. Okay, I'm glad. What did Chappie get? Stop. All right, well, he, he chose from all the ones which... Sam subsequently bought a set from it's like a guy with like six eyes, but Happy also got the little guy who was one of my favorites on one of the little pieces with the little horns. That doesn't say a lot since it was I my remember. drawing. I remember. Yeah. And the spew chat, Divine. Maybe Divine missed the spew chat as well. Which was the spew chat? Just like oh. everyone getting you some up it. in the cup. You missed it too because you were muted and talking off to the side. <clears throat> oh, and I was talking to Teo, yeah. Yeah, I, I went in and did one of my special little coughs that triggers vomiting and emptied the contents of my stomach. Fun stuff, fun stuff. I thought it was I thought it was me and TV mud wrestling that did it to you, but that's good to know. That's what I was trying to imply, but then when he said he really threw up, I felt kind of bad. <laughs> Just a no. twin. I'm way classier than front or front bag nonsense. Yeah, I don't think I'd throw up from mud wrestling unless the mud was uh, some other brand of stuff. Right. 
school. And who's to say, you know? I mean, like, I remember watching something with Mikey that was, like, pretty vulgar, and he, like, laughed at me because I was – I was eating at the time, and he was like, "Look at you, you're just chewing away." I was like, oh. <laughs> and um, it had the other kind of brown in it. So, scamp movies. Yeah, which Pornhub channel were we on? What were we watching? Uh, no, nah, it was like maybe it was like your mum's house live or something. All right, no, yeah, yeah. One of the like, <laughs> I was just like pumping away, and I, I wasn't thinking anything of it. And you were like, Whoa, look at you, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not, in, I'm not into it, but uh, I'm gonna not stop nasty. eating my food. And just as you said that, here comes Yazi with the cat turd out of the litter pan. <laughs> Damn. Yazi, then you'd be wanting to lick around my nose and mouth. Yep. Damn. He brought it in here and laid it down on this snake bag that I'd opened but left in the floor. You are nat Look at him. Look at him. Looking for more. <laughs> Shame him, Bob. Shame him. <laughs> Did you have any other sightings of your snake since, Sarah? Uh, oh, not since it went on the roof. Oh, I keep, I'm drawing, sorry, I'm drawing on top of a drawing board and I keep pushing it on top of my keyboard and it keeps doing stuff. Sorry. Yes, everything is just everything is good. No, I didn't see the snake again since it went on the roof. It's probably in your attic. I mean, it could be where it's warmer. Well, like that's what I was hoping for it yeah. that it would go up there and be warm. So that may be if it comes down, you may have that dream of the snake on your bed. Come to <laughs> It could have come true, but like I, so you know, my kid knows I deliberated really hard about it, and I was like, I want to bring it in, but I don't want to interfere with it. Right. It needs me to interfere. So I ended up leaving it, and it was okay. I did give it a hot water bottle, I thought that was like my compromise. Not only was it your compromise, but it was such a cute act. I loved it. <laughs> so kind. Yeah. yeah. But I hope that guy is up in my roof and absorbing all the warmth from my electricity and stuff. I'd say from my. Well, yeah, but like, is it going to eat very much when it's this cold? No. Nah. I sort of doubt that it's going to eat very much. They will be opportunistic though, if it's um, if it's there. But if it's too cold, they won't eat because they know that they can't get warm enough to digest, and then they can make themselves very sick. Yeah. So, like, <clears throat> my main hope is just that. It, survives and is happy best case scenario is you you get it um uh what do you call it it kills a mouse and eats it and then realizes that it's too cold to digest so then it just spews it back up so you it's still killed for you but it's not digesting it that's your best case that would be all right except that so my mum um had an experience at an office where she worked and it was like sort of not like an in-town office but because it was when she was working for Paul Hogan and the cricket team and everything and so the office was like this little building way out of town. Um, it started to smell and it smelled so bad that no one could work in there or anything and so they 
went to have a look and what had happened is that a snake had um, like died in the roof. It had like choked on something and died in the roof. And um, yeah, the smell of the rotting snake very pungent. I don't wish that for my own home. No. Having, like, I've only, I've only heard. Oh, fuck, I've done it again. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize for my. What have you done? Put my chopping board on my cable. But my apologies for I, 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 I don't think it, I don't think it does anything at this end. If I swear. If you swear, <clears throat> is that what you're apologizing for? Yeah. Yeah, what I'm doing is it just starts pulling up like boom 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 all these windows and I've got to yeah. just shut them. You know what I should do is just pick up the keyboard and put it somewhere else. Problem solved. Science. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. That's a bit. Fuck. My ink started coming out of my pen in a really nice way there. It literally made my saliva run and made me get like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not exaggerating. <sighs> Fuck yes. Oh. Hmm. I need more pens with this kit instead of this kit. Because this tip says it's smaller, but it's not necessarily. Do you know how big the um, Uniball Micro is? How big? Because, um, yeah, yeah. I, reckon, I reckon it gives me a finer line than my like, 0, 1 uh, Pigma. Is that what they call pigma? Yeah. So the pigmas are the other ones, like the sakura, right? Micron. micron. Yeah, so, that's something. If, do you know the actual size of the uniball eye micro? Because it doesn't say the size on it. Um. Yeah. It's be finer than the point zero one. Or point one, whatever it is. Well, so I don't know. Point one. Yeah, it's going to be finer than the point one. It's going to be like a zero point seven. Um. It's okay. I'll. I'll Put a piece of paper down and draw some just some lines. And, I think it's either zero point seven or zero point five. If you've got because your Pigma micro come in all different sizes, so the size of the eye line are zero zero three and zero zero five. So 
So if you're looking at point one. No, point zero one. It's the small pig, pigma that I use. Yeah. One-tenth of a millimetre, I believe. Yeah, but see, I still feel like the... Hmm, see, so I don't have any pen of that width. This might have been the most stimulating six minutes of this entire stream. <laughs> and sizes. But the thing is, um, hang on, because I'm confused because, right, because I know zero, zero, point one, and the other ones are point seven and point five, right? I have a whole bunch of different sizes in the pigments. Yeah, so describe your different pigma sizes, would you? Because I think that this guy, I reckon it's a 0.7. A point what? 0.7, like um, one of, hang on, I've got a, I will find him. Like this, this is 0.7 as well. I think that they are both 0.7. Oh, and when you do those, right, so you're saying that the top one is the thickest? Draw all three lines. I which think I heard her say she got it, loser. Oh, shit, fingers work. All right, but so is the top one thicker than the bottom one? Yes. I think it's, yeah, I don't know if it's 05 of a millimetre, which is very tiny. Because, yeah, it looks like half a millimetre to me. So I think they need a decimal point in there. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. And okay. The high one, the high so, one is one tenth of a millimetre. Let me just try and find these guys to match together for what I've got. See, so this one is the same as this one. Oh, no, that's not that guy, is it? Is it that guy? No. Zero, zero, three is the same as 0 0.03, right? Right. So if 0 0.03 is the same as 0 0.03, and then this is 0 0.7, I still feel like it should be thicker than your. Oh, but what have you got? Zero. In this one, is it 0 0.1? Is it 0 0.1 or 0 0 0.1? Hang on, off, off your screen. Yeah, mine are just 1 0. 0 0.3, not 0 0 0.3. Yeah. Okay. And zero two zero four zero three point zero three. Ah, it's all getting very confusing. Yeah, hold. Can you hold your um zero three zero zero three like with the nib out on, onto a surface, like maybe whatever the widest thing is, your forehead maybe. But like up close so we can compare some of this. I don't think we can compare. Yours looks a lot thicker, but what do yours say on it? That's the zero three. Yeah. So zero three is like a point three. 
whereas my zero zero three is a point zero three. So three percent of a millimeter. It's that tiny. Very tiny. Yeah. Got to get me some double O's then, as well. So the only ones I use of all these kinds of fine liners are the zero zero three and zero zero five. Nothing better than that. And that was size chat with Blackie and Sarah. Mm -hmm. and, and we got some really good, clear conclusions. And um, yay, yay for all of us. Shit. Now I've got pens everywhere. Uh, but that's my life, right? I'm organized. I have a pen bag now. It's just not very useful. I have a pen box, but like. You've got a thousand more pens than me. It depends. It's not that helpful to have a pen box. Because like I just have to pull them all out, you know. Yeah, I gotta have a proper dig around for my other microphone bag. Those things are perfect pencil case size. Yeah, well, you know you gave me two. Yeah, but you're using them. Yes, I am using them. I'm just saying you gave me two. Oh, right, okay. Right. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You're saying my search for my microphone bag would be futile. Maybe. It depends how many did you originally have. Uh, I think most of my other microphones have come in boxes without carry cases, so I probably am thinking of the extra one that you've got. I should just repurpose some old trousers or something into a pencil case. The baby master getting so big. What's she getting to eat? That's some Swiss cheese. Nice. Which we both love. And some carrot. It's trying to sprout. Some fresh water. <laughs> three of three of them are turning gray now. Let's see if I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See it at no eleven. Rocky, that's still a big batch. That's how much roll. What did you say, Scungy? I said that's how much roll. So cute. Oh, she's not liking that camera. Maybe, maybe. Have to make like a focus or something. Have you seen Coraline? The animated children's show movie. Uh yeah, sure. Another Neil Gaiman one. French. Set have in you France. seen? That? I think I have, but probably not for many years. Oh, no, it's brilliant. It's not French. But, like, I really like Mr. Bobinski. And he, uh, he has, like, a mouse circus that he runs. So another movie I highly recommend is Watch Coraline. Please, everyone. I am. Um, I haven't got... I haven't got Chappie on my new Facebook, so I can't send him the link. I just did. Right, I cool. just did. It just took me a minute to find him. Um, 
I don't know if I should reiterate it or not, but my old Facebook was stolen. So if you're still connected to the old Facebook of mine, um, unfriend and block that one. I have a new one now. Same name, different picture. But yeah, I, I've still been getting notifications to that page because there's still people friended to it. So, What's happening, everybody? Can you hear me? Good, I do. How are you? Y'all right. can hear me, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chappy. Chappy. What's going That's on, everybody? Chappy. I think everyone's audio is jittery now. Is jittery? It's working hard. Hang on, I can fix this. No, I'm barely working. I got your pods. Uh, what? Hold on, Matt. Huh? Yeah, it's all, your audio is getting choppy to me, Sarah. Can you hear me? Might be me again. That's all right. Like you said, that I'm choppy, so maybe. Just speak slow. I click with yeah, that the people get chopped out of the in between bits, and look, that's where I'm actually saying that. Yeah. Well, all this, uh, all the pin chat we were talking about. Um, Chappie's quiet for me. Yeah, I can barely, barely hear you, Chappie. Sounds like Bob's trying, sound. He's trying to work out his audio still, I think. Okay. Uh, I... What other color can I do? I'm so mysteriously. Hello? Yes. Is that better? Yeah. No. Not really. I can I can hear you, but just like it's really, really, really soft where I have to like everybody's gotta be quiet. And listen hard. The pen is hard. <laughs> the pen Nothing. is hard? The pen. He's talking about the pen is Hard. Pen is hard. <laughs> they started doing penis jokes after we were talking about pens. Yeah. You said another on en entendre. Yeah, and that's fine. We I. Never, we never said that at all. We said the pen is. There was never a penis here. You have to fix your microphone, Chappie. We can't hear you. Yeah. No, no, Nola suggests purple. In answer to your questions, Gunji. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, if you changed your um microphone device, just log out and come back into the link and see if switching it off and back on again helps that old chestnut. I just uh, old chestnuts still good chestnuts. It probably didn't. Yes, oh, you did. sound good now. Oh, yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, it's working now? Yeah. Like magic. Apparently, my left ear pod is better than my right ear pod. Uh, that's how it goes. I'm going to take out my right one so I can hear my radio. Can you still hear me? Yep. Yes. yep. And we were we were not doing entendre jokes. We were talking about pins. That's right. So you get your mind out of the gutter, dirty bird. Oh, unfortunately, I, I can no longer see the chat. So people are talking. I'm sorry. I suck at life. <laughs> well, you're at work. You know, we're lucky to even see you. I just felt yeah. that I like. Hey. Oh, my lap my laptop's in the data van. I can probably grab that, but it's dead. Oh. 
Bob, what are you doing, bud? Are you feeding the fishies? Feeding a snake, but it was almost a you see anything yet? Biting me. What is what are we looking at? What the is drawing that I'm starting? Oh, you can't is that a sheep is? or a, a goat or buffalo? Yeah. Is it the devil? It's the devil. The is devil it really? Himself. <laughs> I want that art. I'll buy it. Well, right. you know, you're not the first one to try and bid on it before it's finished. Yeah, it's going to be a popular piece. I'm uh, sure it will. Pam's it's, promise it's on the blog. She's right saying it was going to be ready for auction on Tuesday night. Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. Um, it'll it'll be your first. I'm not going to say fictional. It'll be your first um, non-animal or human piece, right? No, it, it's a buffalo. It's a buffalo bull. No, no. You know how you need to make it. Just just finish it. Finish it with the you know. Oh. <laughs> Some red scales and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I've been busy tonight. Oh. I tore, tore apart this battery pack. If you guys ever have bad battery packs, a pro tip, without trying to kill yourself, you can pull these guys out. What did you pull out? Oh. That was again. a battery. Just like a normal double A or something. Now they normally stop. No, an 18650. Oh. It's a, and what do you how do you repurpose it i solder a little nib on the, the positive side and then i use it in my flashlights nice. yeah, it's a, yeah that's what i do just for fun Fun. Yeah, I, I saw her just for fun. Isn't that sad? You do it for the fragrances. I do. Uh, the lead really... Um, it, it does a number on my brain. Ooh. <laughs> don't, uh, don't, don't chew on lead, kids. It's, it's bad for you. Mm. What time is it? It's um, one thirty-six here in uh, North Dakota land, and I'm chugging a monster. F me. Yeah. Uh, Twelve thirty-six here. It's one thirty-six in the afternoon. It means it's happy duty time here. Happy duty time? Yep. Is that like poop? Uh, Is that a poop joke? Well, like nope. Happy duty. Duty time is happy time, right? Like, it makes you feel good. And Sarah, I got your art. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. And uh, you put you put another shiny sticker or two in there, and I love them very much. I and uh, I look forward to buying more art from you. Uh, I'm glad it made it to you. Because that's the ways that, like... You send it off in the world, who knows what will happen. So, That's um, right. I'm so happy to hear that you got it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Um, also, I didn't go with purple because I'd already, before my problem not the purple, I'd already started with yellow. Damn. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Pam, so what's it going to cost to make you do a, a double? A double? Yeah. Yeah. Will, you, will, you, will you pose for me? <laughs> I will. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls, Pam. I can't. It's just like, like this. I don't know. <laughs> I could put I can horns on you really easily. <laughs> yeah. These are my part bins for all my parts. And my toolbox is covered in tools. My kid just came back from work experience and he brought a toolbox that he built. And it's um, actually pretty nice. Nice. It is. I'm trying to figure out what Bob was just doing. Bob was trying to get naked on camera. I've been That's naked for the last hour. Son of a... Uh, I'm just lights. getting here for this. You missed it. You missed all the good stuff. That's all right. I can't talk about that heathen stuff. You know, I'm, uh, I'm one of those good Christian boys or something like that. I am? Lucky. Oh. Well, anyways, I've got to head out of here. My battery's about to die again because I've been playing on my phone all night. But, well, it was good seeing you. Yeah. yeah. It worked so hard. Oh, no, I never. Uh, sometimes I do. I usually do because I'm an experienced one. The group. Come back on Tuesday but, for uh, the other pictures. Uh, send me a message, Pam, and uh, I'll keep an eye out for it. What's today? Okay. Sunday? Monday? I'll send you a link on Tuesday. What's uh, what's today? Today's Sunday. Sunday night. All right. Yeah, a couple days. I can be there for that. Cool. cool. Yep, I'll send you a link. As long as nothing's broken. I'll, uh, I'll pop in. Uh, All right. We're right on. Everybody in chat, I will be joining you again, maybe here in a moment. And uh, until then, everybody, bye. Good to see you, Dave. You too, Blackie. <laughs> what? What? Baby in and out. Floyd chewing on the couch. No? No? Would you like that sound? Do you? I, I sort of would like to get her a kitten. Yeah, you might like it. Only if you're going to be very sweet. <laughs> it's a risk, you know. Yeah. Well, my back is starting to hurt. This is what happens when I sit on my butt too long. That's why I do these ones all the time. Which ones? <laughs> I, I literally got a special cushion for my chair. Oh, nice. Got like a... Um, but I only ever had problems when I started going to work and sitting like eight hours in a row on my butt, and that stuff sucks. But also... That is awesome. Hang on. 
Right. People need to see that. That is cool. Is that like gold paint on it? That's nice. Yellow. Yellow? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I can't make it right. Ooh, like that, maybe? Yeah, that's good. Oh. Good contrast. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking this guy. That's good. But yeah, thank you. And I, yeah. I went with the yellow and it's like a, <laughs> a white yeah. yellow. Mm -hmm. One sec. So we're going to shut it down when these kids return. Yeah, probably. My my back is killing me. I need to walk around a bit. That's the hell of a night. Probably go to bed. I get all my work done and can finally lay down and sleep on the chat and get ready to go. I got to get these cards ready to go out tomorrow. I'll go make it to the post office with them. Jenny Lynn is really going to like her snake when she sees it in person. You think? Yeah. I couldn't get a real good photograph of it. It's, you know, that's probably for the better because then she gets the pleasant surprise of how much better it was in person. Yeah. I'm sure she'll love it. There's your squeaky passes. I'm starting to wish that I did this stream from indoors. It's getting quite chilly. Yeah, yeah. I should bring, bring your candy. I was just going to wait for Sarah to get back and then we'll tell everybody good night. Because my back is killing me. Oh, Jenny Lynn is still here. I thought she was gone. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna love that snake when you get it. It's a lot better in person than the photograph I took of it. Here you go, Z. Let's put a drop in your eye. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. There he is. There he is. When he's drop, he sees the um, I gave away a little drawing of a grebe, and Sarah gave away a little drawing. Of a monster and a little drawing, a little skull drawing. Yeah. Got a drop in Thanks for hanging out. See you later, Chew. Yep, I gave away a burb. What was I going to say? I forgot. Bloody thought of something and then read the chat. Got sidetracked. That's right. You're going to be on Reptiles next week, huh? Nice. Yep. Okay, Sarah's back. Just in time for us to tell everybody good night. And thank you for coming in and congratulations everybody that's got some art coming and thank you Chappie and Bob and Skunji and Blackie and thank you Mods and thank you everybody that's watching the replay and we will see you Tuesday night.
Thanks, everyone. See you. Good night. Good night.